Sorry, my voice was weird just then for a second. Hi everyone! <laughs> We're going to play some Sims today. We're going to build, or continue building I should say, uh, the pink generation house that we just started on Monday. Was it on Monday? It's been a long week. There's been a lot happening. Also, if you weren't here yesterday, we're at $200,000 race for St. Jude. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, it's, there's been, um, a lot has been occurring this week. <laughs> Actually, when we got off stream yesterday, we were at, we were at 200, not 100, we were at 201,000. Um, oh, hi. Well, I don't want to press the button in front of your earsies. We were at $201,000 yesterday. When I opened my PC today, we were at 202. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, anyway, my cat is arrived and we're going to play some Sims today. So it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we got a lot, a lot of builds to finish. So, <laughs> um, I'm having a nice and not too anxious day. Do you know what? I'm actually not having a nice day. <laughs> I've had really horrible cramps all day. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine and we're good and fine. But, um... It's not been the best. <laughs> you said all pink house and I'm here for it? Good, I'm glad. Yeah, well you started working on um, this sort of like pink... God, the lighting in this world is so weird. Um, on this pink, like, cottagey house. Um, we're obviously not done. We've been working on the landscaping and stuff. Um, for the pink gen of our Not So Great Challenge. We've got the floor plan all figured out, finally. Um, and we sort of started furnishing. Oh! We're grilling some hot dogs. I don't like how that looks at all. <laughs> um, and then the other thing is that I added the second pulp emote. Um, so now there's two. One is called Simsy Scream, and the other is called Simsy Pulp. Those are the ones that you guys voted as your top two pulp emotes. So. <laughs> I hope you like it. Um, and that probably, I think, catches us up to speed. So. <laughs> oh, look at all the pulps in the chat. So beautiful and so horrifying at the same time. And, oh my god, the other thing. I don't know how many of you guys saw this. Um, but I'm gonna link it in the chat for you, because I don't want you to miss it. Um, there's two, two big Sims news things today. Um, number one, The Sims is doing a survey where you can vote on two kit themes. So you can vote on a cast theme, um, and you can vote on a, a build kit theme as well. Um, the cast ones, there's like a rainbow theme, and then like a goth theme, and the build ones are like a castle, and then like a super futuristic thing, um, so you can pick, and then I don't know when they'll come out eventually, but you can vote on which ones are, are your top two. Um, so I'll, I'll link this in the chat for you, you should go do it. The, the survey literally takes like two seconds, it won't take you too long, <laughs> uh, but you should definitely go vote, um, so that way you, uh, get your say in it, you know? Um, and then the other thing is that, um, on the Epic Games Store, uh, there's like a, um, Oh, whoa, whoa, stop doing that. Sorry, I just got distracted by my Discord. <laughs> um, the other thing is that um, on the Epic Games Store, they're giving out three packs for free. Jungle Adventure, Luxury Party, um, and what is the third one? Let me check. Um, so I don't say it wrong. Hold on. Yes, Fashion Street Kit. I was like, I knew it was one of the clothing kits, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, they're giving out these three packs for free on the Epic Games Store. Um, so make sure if you don't have an Epic Games account, make an account on the Epic Game Store. Epic is like like Origin or the EA app or like Steam or whatever. It's just a different company of game launcher. Um, go make an Epic Games account. Um, it's PC only, but make one. Even if you don't have, here's my thing. Even if you don't have The Sims on your computer, if you play on Mac, whatever, guys, go make the account and get the packs. It doesn't hurt to like claim them, you know? Um, so go, Go claim them, <laughs> no matter what, um, just so that way you have them, you know? Because um, it doesn't work on Mac, because the, the way that it works, there's something to do with, like, you have to transfer them into the EA app and, like, doesn't work on Mac. Super annoying, but still claim them, because that way, like, when it does work on Mac, you'll have them, you know? Um, but anyway, I can't answer specific questions about this, because I don't know either. All I know is, go make the account and claim them. 
<laughs> go make the account and claim them. Um, you don't even have to download it. You can just make an account and then claim it in the browser. Like, but make sure you claim them so you don't miss your chance, you know? Um, Cause it would suck if you didn't. And then this article from Sims Community has some information about how to get them into your EA app. Um, so. Hopefully that helps. Uh, but yeah, definitely, no matter what, just go and claim them. Like, don't forget, make your Epic account, go and claim them, because um, that way uh, you'll have have them, you know? Better to have them than to not. There's no harm in doing it, so. Um, can you get them if you have one of the packs? Honeybee, I have literally not a clue. I would assume so. Um, I, I would assume if you claim the bundle, you're claiming it separately and then just installing it through EA, so I think it'll just install the ones that you don't have. Um, but it should work. I, I can't answer specific questions though, because I've, I don't know either. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make sure, um, you guys make sure you go and claim that. Pulp fans against cancer with the donation to St. Jude in honor of your future father-in-law. Um, Katie with the 468 who evened out the number. <laughs> um, and for the kids and my birthday with the $5 happy birthday. That's so exciting. Um, happy, happy birthday. That's so exciting. Um, have the best day. Um, Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, hopefully we'll have, um, I snap, you're like getting all tangled in my headphone cord. Hopefully we'll have um, enough time to finish this today, because <laughs> that's the next step. Can I post the link for the vote, please? Yeah, I can put it again, but you guys, you can also just go to the Sims social media accounts and you'll see it there yourselves, okay? Um, so if you're, if you're gonna be like, wait, put it, I missed it after this, um, just go to the Sims social media accounts and you'll find it there. Um, that way you can, you can vote in the poll. This is the Sims tweet about it. Um, hey, Pay with the $25 of St. Jude, Anonymous with the $50, Zoe with the $5, thank you so much. Yeah, you guys, if you missed it, we, we hit $200,000 raised for St. Jude yesterday. <laughs> um, we were live yesterday morning playing some Animal Crossing and we hit $200,000 raised. Ah! <laughs> um, so yesterday was kind of a big day, um, this is wild. I don't know. <laughs> we're still going. We're still gaming. Uh, we still have like weeks left. Um, we're going for the entire month of May. Yeah, literally the power of Animal Crossing, huh? It was exciting. You were there? Nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was pretty fun. Um, and now we're going to work on this. So actually, I might just start uh, getting to the landscaping part right now and see if we can get some of this landscaping finished. Cause that way I'll feel a little bit more accomplished once more of the exterior of the house is done, you know? Um, that's probably a good starting point. <laughs> uh, once we get some more of this finished up, everything's gonna seem a lot better. This is what the house looks like so far though. We were kind of working on the back yesterday a little bit. Um, it's not done yet though. And we only have 84,000 simoleons. I guess that's enough cause we already did the expensive parts, didn't we? Um, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, Justice, uh, thank you for the donation. Layla, uh, for your mom, thank you for that donation. Five dollars for my pets. Um, Jordan, is the Sims planet flat or round? Are the Sims flat earthers? Must know, your opinion is canon. <laughs> um, you know, here's the thing about the Sims, like, Here's the thing. Sometimes I struggle to see the connection between these different worlds and like the where they would be in relation to each other. It's like very obvious to me how Willow Creek and Newcrest and Magnolia Promenade are all sort of like the same world, but maybe different parts of it. And then everything else is kind of, um, I don't know. But from a game dev standpoint, the earth is flat, yes? like technically speaking, but I don't know if that's um, like in the lore, if that would be correct. Um. <laughs> they do have globes, there's a globe in game. So you could assume, but the thing is, is that globe like, is it like mythical? You know, like the globe bar, is that really like a Sims globe? Or is that them being like, this, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go with, I think that, I think that the Sims is not a flat earther, but um, technically speaking, the earth is flat. 
game dev wise. <laughs> um, hey, with the ten dollars for your friend Raquel, Sydney, and Bo, the service dog who just graduated from college last week. Congratulations! That's amazing news, um, and I'm sending you a lot of good vibes for your surgery next week, friend. Um, Kayana and Ginger Snaps, thank you for the donations to St. Jude also. Um, okay. Okay. So is space above them then? Could you imagine it's like flat plane of all the other worlds, and then like six them. Flat plane above. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, I can't really... My cat is, is like sort of in the way of my keyboard right now, which is kind of inconveniencing me. I love you, Snap, like the most, but um, you are kind of, kind of in the way. Baby.show live edit objects. Okay. Um, when did we get this pulp? I uploaded it today because I owed you guys another emote, um, another pulp emote that we, we fundraised for. Um, I had to delete another one of my real emotes though <laughs> for it. Cassidy with the $150 to St. Jude Taryn for your grandma and your dad and for your birthday tomorrow. Um, Jay in honor of your cousin Maddie and David with the $150 to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, sorry. I'm just gonna try and get some more of my uh, landscaping in here so that I feel better while we're chatting. Um, Sarah, it's your first live stream. Well, hello. Welcome in. It's good to see you. I'm so glad you could make it. Um, hopefully you enjoy your time here. I think you will. I'm a little biased, but I think you will. <laughs> and Rhea, thanks for the $10 to say to you too. Um, snap. What do you think we should do? How about this one? Do you like that one? She stood up. She was laying down. Now she's up. It's your birthday tomorrow too? Oh my gosh. Tomorrow? I'm getting really anxious because tomorrow, um, I got invited to this, like, um, Fall Guys tournament, uh, like a Twitch Rivals Fall Guys tournament, and the thing is, Twitch Rivals is, like, Twitch's, um, official, like, esports tournament thing. So, like, a Twitch Rivals tournament is, like, not a small deal, because it's, like, actually hosted by Twitch, um, and we're doing that tomorrow. And I'm starting to get really anxious about it. At first, I was like, haha, that's gonna be so fun. Haha, that'll be funny when we lose. But now I'm like... Now I'm getting scared, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'll stream it tomorrow. We're gonna be live tomorrow doing it. Um, Shelby, with the $150 in memory of your grandmother who used to donate monthly to St. Jude and in honor of your dad and best friend who both beat cancer. Shelby, thank you so much. Um, Carly too, your first time watching me, welcome! First May watching me, sorry, welcome, welcome. Uh, Mystical Wolf, who says Gizmo, and Broccolina say hello to Snap. Um, Freckles for your cousin Molly. Um, Fanny with the donation. Um, and our Sims Round Earthers with the donation also, thank you so much. We just passed $203,000 raised for St. Jude. You guys will do great. What, tomorrow with the tournament? Listen. Listen. I, I feel the need to set expectations now, okay? Tomorrow, when we play this Fall Guys tournament, we are going to lose. <laughs> like, without a doubt, 100% chance. We are going to lose. Are we gonna come in last place? Are we gonna come in almost last place? That part is unclear so far. But without a doubt, we will be losing tomorrow. <laughs> Shella says, I'm aiming for second to last. Yeah, 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 exactly. It'll be fun. What really matters is that we are here to have a good time. <laughs> um, are we gonna win? No. Are we gonna be successful? No. <laughs> But will we have a really good time? Yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> um, I'm excited about it. Hey, Izzy, thank you for that donation. You moved house on Saturday, congrats. I know that must be really stressful, but you're gonna have, uh, it'll be great, it'll be great. You love the attitude? Oh yes, my assumptions of, of loss, I'm, I'm sure, um, I don't know. You might think that I'm joking, but I'm super not. I'm dead serious, like we're gonna lose. Not a question. 
It's just a matter of how bad are we going to lose. <laughs> when will this be tomorrow? It'll be at this time tomorrow, Jonathan. This I think the tournament technically starts at 5, so in like 15, or in like 45 minutes, sorry, tomorrow um, is when it'll be happening. But we'll be, we'll be live at this time, so. Um, hey, Candice! In honor of your grandfather and your aunt, thank you for that donation to St. Jude, too. Um, Hazel, the forms that you're looking for are uh, pinned in the announcements channel in the Discord. Um, uh, you can only you can only pick one redemption at a time on Tiltify. It's kind of annoying. Um, but if you donated at any point, like over the amount required for a reward, and you want to get them both, like say you donated one hundred fifty dollars to get the card, you get the Discord roll and you get the CC. Also, you just have to tell me so that I can have like your information. I need your Discord username and, and your email address and stuff. So there's forms that are pinned in the announcements channel in my Discord that you can fill out if that's you. Uh, my mods could also probably uh, link it to you right now. Um, okay, I'm feeling good about that. Should I like really continue this around into this area too? Should I put more of the landscaping there? I don't know. I'm getting anxious about how much landscaping I should actually put. Which one did they ask about? Um, well, they didn't say a specific one. <laughs> so I don't know. There was a Fall Guys update. I know! The Fall- there's a new Fall Guys season? Oh my god. Um, so I haven't played it yet. The new season of Fall Guys. Uh, and I'm gonna be playing in a tournament tomorrow. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Um. <laughs> so, we're gonna do a, a practice stream, if you will, today. Um, we're gonna play Fall Guys with chat tonight. Um, as like a Simsy After Dark sort of vibe at 9 o'clock Eastern Time this evening. So, um, if you wanna play with us later, I'm gonna be trying to practice. Um, and have some fun. So, you're welcome to join us and play with us tonight. Um, I need the practice, the new rounds are wild. Uh, yeah, I saw you say that earlier, and I got really nervous. <laughs> I'm getting anxious about this. <laughs> I expect that it's gonna go, um, poorly. So we'll see. Um, you play a level that was literally just fans. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> okay. Listen, the point still stands. We are not going to win. <laughs> We're here for fun, okay? We're not here to succeed. We're here for fun. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Morgan, thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, Louise, Sabrina, uh, Candace, thank you all so much. Here's the thing, here's the thing. The other slight problem, and here, I don't have, like, high expectations, so it's not really a big deal. It is a prize tournament, though. Like, there's a prize pool, um, and obviously, whatever money we win, I would be donating to St. Jude. But, like, we won't be winning a lot of money! <laughs> so... <laughs> As long as we go into it with that expectation, it's fine. We didn't come here expecting to succeed at anything. There is a loser's bracket. There's like, there's like two brackets. Um, there's one for the people that are in the top, and then there's one like, so we play like a few qualification rounds basically. Um, and there's one for people that are in the top of that, and then there's one for the losers. So, we might... I don't know how bad the other players will be. Maybe we'll do well in the loser's bracket, you know? Probably not, though. So we shouldn't get our hopes up too high. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Time to be the winner of the losers! <laughs> um, Andrea, Solidaria from a, Solidarity from an Austria uh, teacher. Thank you so much, Andrea. And Tay, if you could pick any kind of place to add as a new world in The Sims, what would you pick? Oh my god! That's, do you know what? That's a really interesting question that I've, I don't really know if I've put that much thought into what kind of world I would want them to add to The Sims 4. I don't really know how I would answer that. 
like which what kind of world I would want first. Because there's obviously there's so many places around the world that like aren't really represented in The Sims because The Sims is kind of very America centric. Um, so I don't really know. There's so many places that would be so cool. That's a good question. Chat, what do you think? You want a Southeast Asian world? Really? That would be good. That would be really cool. That's a good answer. Um, Rome inspired Asia or Africa? Yeah, that would be super cool. Um, okay. This is not very, um, doesn't matter. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You need more apartment lots? Oh, I would do anything for more apartment lots. If we're talking about, like, like beyond, like, the world design, just, like, what kind of lots do you want to have? I want more apartments so bad. I don't care where they are located. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just want more apartments so bad. Any kind of additional apartment would be so good. The other, like, main gameplay feature that I really want to see in The Sims 4 is hotels. I would love to be able to run a hotel like you could in The Sims 3. But, like, you could do that pretty much anywhere. Like, so many different styles of world would lend itself well to being, like, the location of a hotel, so... But I, I just want to have hotels so bad. That would be so fun. Um... Osley, thank you for the donation. Cassie, who says, my five-year-old Emily wants me to tell you that she loves your videos. Thank you so much. Um, Jamie, too, with the donation. I'm sending you a lot of love, friend. Thank you. Um, you want resorts like an island paradise? Yes, that's, that's exactly what I would love to have, is the ability to, like, run your own hotel. I think that would be so cool. I really, really, really would like that. Um, that's, like, serious dream, dream pack co content for me. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Um, this is kind of like, maybe I need to erase this and redo it. Okay. <laughs> Connie with the $150 to St. Jude resident and Alex in honor of your Nana. Um, thank you so much. Uh, and <laughs> Resident says, fun fact, parrots can't taste the heat of peppers. You can literally feed them the spiciest pepper and they can only taste sweetness. Really? I didn't know that about parrots. Good for them, honestly. They win. Oh, that's like, not good. <laughs> that's true for all birds? Oh, cool. I don't think I knew that. Thought I said parents? No, no, um, not, not parents. Parrots? Like a, like a bird? <laughs> uh, I have no way of knowing if your parents have any sort of, uh, spice tolerance. I don't know that much about your parents. Unfortunately. So I, I couldn't tell you about that. <laughs> Ariel with the $150 just got paid. Thank you so much. Um, you see, you said, what's the point of being a nurse and making good money if I don't help kids because I see adults with cancer and it's so hard. Tiny humans shouldn't have to go through that too. Ariel, thank you for your donation to St. Jude. And also thank you for what you do. Nurses are truly superhumans. I'm sorry, Peppa Pig is in what? Peppa Pig is at the Eurovision semifinals? Are you being honest with me right now? Oh my god. I've never felt so horrified by anything in my entire life. Are you serious? She's everywhere! We actually can't escape her! Ew! <laughs> Ew! Peppa, why? You posted in mods? Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Um. So. Oh. 
I... I don't even know what to say. This isn't Peppa jump scare, really and truly. Did they invite her? This is a horror movie. <laughs> I don't even. I don't. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's horrifying. I'd like that to go away now, please. <laughs> I don't want to look at it anymore. I don't want to see it anymore. I'm too scared. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. What was I talking about? We're trying to do the greenhouse. We're trying to do the greenhouse. It's just, um, I'm not doing the best. Let's get like all the good greenhouse stuff out and ready. And then we can slowly, you know, put it all together. That's a box. There's more little pots. What else do we need? Um, one of those little pots. One of those things. Miles with the $25 to say Jude. Thank you so much. Imagine how hot the person in the costume must feel. Oh, yeah, truly. Well, no, wait. What costume? That's really Peppa Pig. What do you mean? I'm confused. That is Peppa. <laughs> oh no. Okay, um, what's it under? The- the table thing? Is it under just like surfaces? The one that comes in the kit? This. I want the one that looks like that. Okay. Maybe I can put the chest in between them. Ew, I don't like it. Never mind. Lexi Gaming with the $50 donation. You graduate college tomorrow with a degree in fashion. I'm really anxious but excited. You got this. I'm so proud of you. Um, and dollar trade for Peppa? Oh no. Why? <laughs> Must you really? <laughs> Anything but that. Anything but that. Oh no. Anonymous with a donation also, thank you so much. Literally anything but that would be preferable. <laughs> oh, I'm terrified. Absolutely terrified. Okay. Get all those. Anonymous with the $10 for Peppa? Oh, here we go. Guys, how should we go about organizing, um the greenhouse bit of this. Like, I don't know. Peppa Pig is coming for your sins unless you show us some pulp screenshots. You're scaring me. Why, is that a threat? Guys, put Peppa emotes in the, I mean, put pulp emotes, sorry, wrong, spoke wrong. Put pulp emotes in the chat. This person is threatening me. <laughs> Not me frantically bringing up your stream as soon as I saw Peppa on Eurovision. I'm laughing so hard. I think everybody had the exact same reaction because all at once everybody was like Peppa's on Eurovision <laughs> everybody all at once came into the chat you probably all have it open you're all watching and you saw her and you were like we need to speak about this <laughs> it all happened so fast everybody came and told me straight away <laughs> Peppa stole someone's credit card for the kids? <gasps> I always knew Peppa was a thief. And drew in with the Peppa dollar train as well. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Um, let's get some more of these plain... Oops. I'd love to put, like, some cute planter boxes kind of around in the corners. I don't really know how many planter boxes or like 
what sort of decor I'm going for in this situation, but I do know that I like how this looks. What do you think? <laughs> Have you heard about another Eurovision legend, Dustin the Turkey? No, but I think Peppa is probably better than that, whatever this turkey is. <laughs> Mag dollars for Peppa! Banning my little ones from Peppa, who says, because since watching her, every, everything they eat now, they say, yuck, Peppa is a rude menace. <gasps> Peppa's a bad influence. Oh my god, I'm sorry that Peppa has had that effect on, what's all this? I'm sorry that Peppa has had that effect on your children. That is actually extremely inconvenient. <laughs> Banana with the donation to say Jew too. Peppa really is rude and a thief. She sucks. Um, <laughs> short Prudent to celebrate your cat Prudence's birthday. Happy birthday, Prudence. Yeah, uh, Christine has told us before, Mrs. Tomato in the chat has told us before that, like, Peppa is literally banned in her household. And I have to say, I respect that. Truly. Peppa can't keep getting away with this. I'm, like, I'm serious. Something has to be done. She needs to be stopped. Um. How about that over there? Please look up Dustin the turkey. Dustin the turkey. That wasn't what I was expecting. I thought I was going to be like a turkey costume like Peppa? Can you see? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't know if I want to put it on the stream. I'm serious. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Look it up yourself. <laughs> True European hero, really? Dustin, the turkey. I don't know, I've never seen this until just now. I just thought it was gonna be different. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Dollar trade for no Peppa, please. Lauren, who asked, will you, will you be accepting gifts at TwitchCon? Lauren, don't feel like you have to bring me anything, but I will be at TwitchCon in Vegas. Um, and if you wanted to, you're welcome to bring us something. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's just out of frame. Over there, do you see that orange thing? Somebody crocheted that for me last year. Um, brought it home. <laughs> um, and they gave it to me at TwitchCon. Ali, thank you so much for the donation as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we, we reached $200,000 raised yesterday, um, which is amazing. Um, PAX Space Game. I wanted to get some of like this, um, the gardening stuff that maybe I could put around. Um... That'll probably do for now. I don't want to spend too much money on the greenhouse because I'm worried about, um, to be honest, I'm worried about overspending, <laughs> so. Um, Morgan, I'm so glad to hear that your rod is okay. That's amazing news. I remember that from yesterday, so I'm super glad. Um, and Savannah and Valerie, thank you for the donations also. Thank you so much. Um, does Dan know Dustin the turkey? Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. He might. I, I guess there's only one way to find out. Um, your children love Peppa when your eldest was a toddler. She watched so much Peppa that she developed a British accent. <gasps> really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you know what? That's really cute though, actually. That's really, really cute. Um, thank you, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, icon, honestly. I know we joke about Peppa, but like, she kind of inspires me. I'm serious when I say that. Icon. 
<laughs> Never loved anybody more than Peppa Pig. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna try and fill in the rest of these little empty spaces with some more flowers. Um, and then we can go inside. We're almost there. Don't worry. I don't even know if I like this house. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Did we just pass 204,000? Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Um, Anonymous with the $60 and the $20 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. You think it's cute? Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm still feeling ever so slightly unsure, so I appreciate you saying that. Um, did you all do your homework? Epic Games free Sims bundle. Oh, we talked about it. We talked about it. You guys better go vote in that Sims survey, and you better go grab your free Sims pack on, packs on Epic Games Store. Um, it's very, very, very important. I'm serious. We take this very seriously here, and you better make sure you get your stuff. Um, okay. Should we do the bathrooms too? Just so we can say they're done. Probably. Dan doesn't know Dustin. Oh, imagine not knowing about Dustin the turkey. That's embarrassing for him. <laughs> Who doesn't know about Dustin the turkey? I think we all do, and it's just Dan that doesn't, and that's embarrassing. And I totally knew about Dustin before about five minutes ago. That's not pink enough, is it? I can't tell. No packs free for Mac players? Well, this is what we were talking about earlier, so it doesn't work, like you can't install them. But here's my thing, claim them, because they won't take them away from you. So don't like, I mean, Oh wait, this is better. That's better. It's like bubblegum pink. But go like go claim them. If you even if if you have like console and it doesn't work, still claim them cuz you never know, maybe you'll get a, a a PC in the future or whatever. Like and that way you'll have them. So, um the they're giving out 3 free Sims packs on the Epic Game Store, Epic is. Um so I'm serious, urgently go and claim them before um before they go away cuz I don't want you guys to miss out on your chance to have them. So, um, make sure you get them, okay? How do you claim them? Can we put the, the Sims community link in the chat again, you guys? I also talked about it in my YouTube video today, if it would be easier for you to see someone do it. Um, I talked about it in the YouTube video that I posted today also. Um, I don't like that. That's a lot of pink. I might use it for one of the bathrooms, though. I mean, we might as well. I think it's quite fun, to be honest. I kind of adore it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh no, you guys, I don't like this bathroom. I don't like this house. I'm struggling. I want to bulldoze it and start over. No, I won't. 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 We'll never finish it if we do that. But I want to. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. No, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. I can't. You support? Don't say that. That's not what I need to hear. <laughs> How dare you support me in this? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <sighs> it's just like, this is our not so berry house, so if I don't like it, then it's big problem. It's giving music video, what, the pink? Oh, the pink will stay. It's more like specifically this version of the house that I've now spent like three and a half hours building. <laughs> um, bulldoze it at self-care. Do you know what I think part of it is? I think part of it is that I don't know if I want to live on this lot. Cause I, I, it's bugging me. I know I'm being silly, but it's bugging me that, um, the, there's like not 
a connection. But I hate how the path just like stops. But I don't really know where I would live instead because this is just the way of the world. So I don't know. Um, Tabby, thank you for that $50 donation to St. Jude. Aggie with the $27 um, for the birthday of your best friend. Thank you so much. Um, Eli, thank you. Uh, Eleni, your 10 year old daughter drew a picture of Peppa offering her classmates cooked bacon. Peppa is a menace. Peppa truly is a menace. That's what Peppa is teaching children? <laughs> Zoe, thank you for the $150 donation. Um, but we're on a 50 by 40 lot as well. So if we move somewhere else, there's like, I'm not going to a 64 by 64 lot. It's just not happening. Let me save the game too. Oh my god, we're never gonna finish this build. It's gonna take us years. Actual years. Um, Emily, in honor of your dad, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to the donation to St. Jude. Um, oh, and there's a pink swatch on the flower arranging table. That's a good, that's a good idea. Um, I'll have to switch that. Brindleton Bay. We did talk about Brindleton Bay, I guess. That's an idea. Um... Stupid 64 by 64 lot. We have a 40 by 40. I don't really want to live there though. Isn't the pool lot in Windenburg? I think it's a 40 by 30 the pool lot, Dika. And ours is 50 by 40. This lot is fancy. And it has a nice view. Let's try this for a second. Mustang with the $20! Barbie Dreamhouse in Glimmerbrook? The lots aren't big enough in Glimmerbrook. That's the problem. I like the driveway better on that one. But... Why are we moving? Because I, I want to bulldoze the lot. I'm having problems. I don't like it. And, um, I need to find a solution. Because I don't like it. <laughs> so that's why I don't bulldoze it. I'm trying to do a little switch. <laughs> Isn't there a 50 by 40 in Glimmerbrook? I didn't think there was. I don't really want to live in Glim Glimmerbrook. The world's too small. Um, people were trying to trick me into living there before. That's uh, 40 by 30. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't, I don't really want to live there, though. Um, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, Glimmerbrook, she is cute, but she's not perfect. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. It fits. Okay. That's an improvement, I would say. My pool's gone. And my terrain paint. <clears throat> I might redo all the terrain paint. Um Yeah, I would say that's an improvement. I would definitely say that's an improvement. This house is so cottage living. Oh yeah, it definitely is. 100%. Can you get Growing Together as one of your free packs? No, there's a specific bundle of packs. It's Jungle Adventure. Um, the... Why am I... Why do I keep forgetting? What is the other two? Oh, Jungle Adventure, Fashion Street Kit, Luxury Party are the three. Um, the, it's a specific bundle that, um, is being given out by Epic Games. So you can't pick. It's those three. And it just is those three. How could I forget about Luxury Party? 
Katie, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. The Peppa whistling bit has made you laugh many times, Caitlin. Sally, thank you for those donations also. Um, okay. It's not available for Mac, I don't think. Yeah, so we keep talking about this, but I'm gonna say it again. Even if you can't install them on Mac because of the stupid way the EA whatever works, still make an Epic Games account and claim them. It doesn't work on console either, but still make an Epic Games account and claim them. Because The Sims 4 is free. Who knows when you'll, maybe you'll get a PC someday, like down the line. So you just make sure you have them claimed, you know? Because they won't take them away from you, but you can only claim them for the next week. So you have this time to claim them. Do it, because you might regret not doing it in the future, you know? Because um, that would suck if like eventually you did get a computer and then, oh, too bad, you didn't claim it before, so you can't get the free packs now. Because you only have right now to do it, because they're gonna, it's a limited time offer, so. Um, okay. Um, it's on the Epic Game Store, is, is, um, where you can claim it. On the Epic Game Store. I don't like this. I need to do something about this. There's, it's like, maybe it's too wide, and that's why I don't like it. Is the whole house too wide? Is that what's throwing me off about this? I do like the shape of this room better like that. I'll say that. Oh, I need to bring a sim here. Oh my god. I'm so picky about my not so berry builds. Uh, I don't know if I want to live there or not. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> live for your mom. Thank you for that donation. Thank you so much. <sighs> I don't know. 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 Okay, so the pink gen of Not So Berry. Let me explain this to you. Um, we're going to be neat, unflirty, and creative. We're going to have the best selling author aspiration. We have to be in the business career for a while. And then when we become an adult, we quit our business job to become an author. And our whole life, we're going to write books and stuff like for fun. Um, and so we also have to like do the best selling author aspiration, write a bunch of books. Um, join the, uh, the the writing career when we're older. Um, also do the writing and wellness skills, do the postcard collection, and have a well-maintained garden. So, if you're not going to be happy, then start over. It's important you're happy. Uh, we're never going to finish this build if I do this. <laughs> I like the lot in Brindleton Bay. I do like the lot in Brindleton Bay. I mean, I'm not gonna like, I saved the lot, so it's still there. Like, it's not gone. You know? It's still there. Change the roofing? Okay, I liked the roof. <laughs> I did like the roof. Um, oh, good weather, great, perfect. Rain, rain, go away. Do you wanna try a different style? No, I wanna do that style, but just do a better job of it. Like, I, I'm serious, I wanna like build that again, but just better this time. So, I don't know, I just, I, so there's something about it that I just didn't like that much, and I want to try it again. Did we just bowl those? Yeah, I still have it, it's not gone. <laughs> don't worry. Um, I think I want to try it again. I'm terrible, I'm absolutely terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you change the lot to Henford? We were in Henford on Bagley. That's why we moved here, because it was throwing me off. I didn't like it. But maybe I do want to live in Henford on Bagley. I also had 160,000. I get too picky about where my Sims live in this Not So Berry challenge. And it causes me deep stress. <laughs> I need to calm down. 
Yeah, Ali, I see chat suggesting Tartosa, but I don't want to build, like, a, in that style for this. That's not really the vibe that I was going for. Trust me, we've been through a lot. <laughs> this is the second time we've done this. I don't want to live in Tartosa for this. It's just not the style that I'm going for. Um, it's not really what I want. I want. I still want to do this sort of cottagey look to it, and I don't think that's going to fit in Tartosa, so... Um, I don't know. Um, this sim's name is Barbie. So, it can be kind of, I don't know, nothing wrong with going back to the drawing board. Yeah, Henford instead. We just moved out of Henford. <laughs> no, we, we literally, we built, we spent like three hours building in Henford on Bagley. I decided I hated it and we've come here. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh no, who said it had to fit in the world? Me. We're going for like a Cape Cod style build anyway, so Brindleton Bay fits really well for it. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> modern house in Del Sol Valley? I don't want to build a modern house. So the reason that we're struggling with this is be I'll show you the other house that is like, we did something like this already, so I don't want to do it again. If you've ever seen my YouTube Let's Play, um, we have a sim who's living in kind of like a modern... Barbie dream house, like, pink modern house. So I don't really have any desire to do another pink modern house because I'm already playing in one of those. You know? We're gonna have the same conversation as Monday all over again. We literally have been through every single one of these things already. But I, I'm already living in, like, a sort of pink modern house in one of my main series, so I don't want to do a modern house again. Because, like, I literally have been playing in that for, like, a while and, um... That's not really what I want to do. It's kind of like mid-century modern-ish, and that's not really what I want to build again, because I'm already in that, you know? Um, so I don't think it would be fun to have two at once. That's why I was going for more of a coastally, cottagey type of vibe. I think I want to build something very similar to what I built before, just again, and have myself hate it less. Okay? <laughs> This is take two, and it's gonna be better this time. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm serious, it's gonna be really similar to before, I think. Um, but maybe we could do it, like, a little bit smaller. Um, maybe we'll like it better. Who knows? It's all about um, the experience, and it's gonna be so good. Just you wait. Just you wait. Try Brent and Brant's house. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of like that, sort of. Um, Cause it's gonna have that sort, oh my God. It's gonna have that sort of like, Brindleton Bay vibe to it, you know? Um, rip to the last house. Well, I'm, it's not gone completely. Guys, you have to be nice to me. I've had a really bad day. <laughs> Maybe it could be bigger like this. Maybe I'd like it better if it was a little bit bigger. Um, but you have to be nice because it's been a long day. I'm supremely anxious right now. <laughs> Sorry that I'm making you watch me do this again. <laughs> it's gonna be better though. Like, look how cute that is already. Isn't that better? There's nothing happening yet. It's gonna be better though. It's gonna be so much better. Mark my words, it's gonna be so much better. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I did kind of like the, um, the side entrance vibe, to be honest, thought that was kind of cool. Um, I feel like we could probably keep up with that. But, you enjoy watching me build even if I do the same thing more than once? Okay, that's very nice for, of you to say. <laughs> Bartholomew the Tuxedo Cat, thank you for that donation to St. Jude also. Um, are we starting over or did I miss something? Oh, n yeah, we're starting over. I'm being extremely picky, to a fault. I'm- I'm ridiculous. But, you have to be nice about it, cause... It's just- listen. You have to be nice, okay? <laughs> okay, pink is your favorite color, this is great for me? Okay, good, I'm glad. I love pink too. Pink is a good color. 
Um, oops. Maybe we could kind of like curve that. What do you guys think about that? That might be cuter. Okay, and I say before we get too far into this, let's think way more seriously about like how this um, entrance situation is actually going to play out. Because something that I really struggled with before was the fact that I really did not like, um, I really did not like how we didn't have like a serious entrance. So maybe I do have to do the entrance like, oh no. Maybe I do have to do the entrance like here in the front. We could always have it be smaller. Maybe it could be this way. Cause that way we can have like a separate living room. I wanna have like a real entry. I think that was one of my main issues before also was that we didn't have a real entryway, so. If we, if we make sure we have that too, then I will be happy. Um, did she restart the build? Oh, here we go. Everyone's gonna come in for the next many hours and be like, why? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I just can't do it. I didn't like it. I'm being picky, okay? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh no. All right. It's gonna be so much better though. Look, isn't that better already? Yeah. And it'll be smaller, so we don't have to worry about trying to fill up like all those rooms that we didn't need. It's gonna be so good. I'm not worried at all. Everything's totally and completely fine. <laughs> totally and completely fine. <laughs> Start over like five times. Yeah, I usually start over a handful of times when I'm building um, for my, mostly when I'm building for like households that I'm playing in, I get really, really picky about what their house will look like. Um, I, I maybe take it a little bit too seriously, um, but I get really, really picky about what the house will look like for the Sims that I'm playing with. Like for my, you know, obviously in this case, not so Barry Sims and stuff. Um, and so, uh, Therefore, this happens. But not, not usually um, the next day. <laughs> it's, it's more of like a same day kind of vibe usually. Um, like the day I started, we'll sometimes we'll do this, but here we are, day two. <laughs> Alicia, thank you so much. Um, an anonymous in honor of your mom. Thank you so much for that donation to St. Jude too. Oh my goodness. See, doesn't that look, doesn't that look so cute and the same as before, but different? Sure does. Sure does look the same as before, but different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's a little bit smaller. Which maybe is bad, I don't know, we'll see. Um, how are you gonna fit everything in there? Well, we're not done yet. So that's the main way. <laughs> is by not being done. Um, okay. I think I make it a little bit wider. Yeah, that's better. All right. Um, that way this can still be a bedroom back there. Trust the process? Yeah, just trust me. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, should I do like, should this be like this? I don't know what this is gonna be. We have to think about floor plan as we're doing this. Maybe there could be windows there, I don't know. Okay, so let's think for a sec. Um, this is gonna be downstairs. Oh, I feel so much better already. Thank you for allowing me to be ridiculous, chat. It means a lot. Um, this is gonna be the living room. Okay, so we'll have, 
living room and then probably like a cute archway into it. Um, I would very much like that. You're not ridiculous? Okay. Sure. <laughs> we can do a cute, maybe actually, I don't know, maybe I'll do it um, like with custom archways or something. It could be sort of open like that. Um, staircase? Ooh, that'll be good. Right? Because then we can have, like, that can be the primary bedroom. It's a great size for it. And then we could probably do, oh my goodness, a bathroom and another bedroom upstairs. And then we can have that same layout as before with the bathroom and the closet in this section. It's smaller, although I haven't figured out the back yet. Maybe I'd be able to have like a full on, um, maybe there could be an extra bedroom like right here in the back. That might work. We'll see. <laughs> Joji, in honor of all your hospice patients that steal my heart and take pieces with them. Thank you, Joji, so much. And thank you for what, you're do what you do. Um, Rebecca, Alex, thank you for those donations to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, so then downstairs, down here, we need to figure out how the back is actually gonna look before I get too far ahead of myself here. But I feel like maybe, just maybe, I could probably scoot this over, hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Maybe I could scoot that over and then perhaps there could be like a, I don't know if it's a bad idea or not. I was thinking there could be like a porch, but that might be ugly. I don't know yet. How many beds do we need again? Okay, so we have my Sim, her sister for now, her parents, and then a kid. We don't have a kid yet, we will. What I'm thinking is, Though, like, the parents and the sister will probably move out. So I'm thinking we'll do four bedrooms, and that should be enough space for, like, all the kids that we want um, when we actually have them, you know? Laura, in honor of your uncle who passed away and your father who has recently been diagnosed. Thank you, Laura, for that donation to St. Jude also. Um, but this will be fine. So that's three, and then we'll have more over here. So that should be plenty of rooms. Um, no, I don't like this part. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> Still thinking this through. Um, yeah, we're gonna have, um, Barbie is gonna be the heir, is the plan. Yeah. Um, my sim Barbie. Can you donate from the UK? Yes, you can. Um, if you donate in pounds, it'll just convert it to dollars when it, uh, comes up on the stream. That's all. Um, okay, maybe I should do this, like, similar to how it is on the front of the building. It's just that that is, like, quite small, and it's, like, kind of long and skinny and weird. <laughs> um, maybe it could be like this. Okay, let's try that. Would be fun to have a kid with the wishing well? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we didn't really talk about that. Um, there was more talk about like, um, everybody was like, oh my God, we have to use the, um, we have to use the, what's it called? Science baby thing. But I'm not really sure what we're gonna do yet for the baby situation. We'll see. Um, I've not really thought about it yet because we aren't really starting the, that uh, generation yet, so. Um, I haven't given it too, too much thought. Um, does she have to have a partner? No, we talked about her being ace, so. Um, hey, Tom with the $15 to St. Jude, thank you so much. And Tana with the $5 to St. Jude, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay. 
I'm feeling significantly better about this situation. I think it looks really cute. Okay. Um, there will be doors like that. Yay. Okay. Cool. So there's three bedrooms upstairs. And we can we were gonna have two kids. So we can have the two kids' rooms upstairs, and then we can have one extra bedroom downstairs. For, you know. Whoever else extra kids we have. <laughs> um Dear Aunt Jan, Jenna, thank you so much for that donation also. I really appreciate that. And Tom, for your dad who's been cancer free for 10 years. I really, really appreciate the donation. And I'll save. I have not saved yet, but we haven't gotten that far, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so this will be the entrance. I like the hallway, to be honest. I think hallway is good and kind of cute. Um, we could always do, oh, okay, please hold. Thoughts on, this becomes big downstairs bathroom, okay? This becomes office, okay? Extra bedroom, just there. We can do the kitchen in this little nook. I might put it to there and have the walls like that. And then this section will be the dining room. And then there's like a doorway there. And then this could be, oh, shoot. <laughs> Forgot about all this room, hold on. Um, maybe? This doesn't have to be this big. Smaller might be better. Um. Okay. Office. There is a lot of hallway happening here, which I'm not obsessed with. Maybe I could like steal some of this and then we could have more walls for the kitchen. It would be bigger because we don't need to have a door there. Okay, let me just put some rugs down so we can think about spacing really quickly. And then you guys can hopefully visualize it a little bit better. So I'm picturing that we would have the dining room Maybe like that direction. I don't really know which way yet. But I'm picturing dining room kind of like there. There would be some sort of living room in here, probably with a bigger rug. And then the kitchen would be like along this wall, kind of like that. So they all sort of have their own separate spaces, um, but they're quite spacious. Only problem is there isn't a full bathroom down here, which is kind of annoying. Um, it's only a slight bathroom, but that's okay. Maybe switch the dining and kitchen. I like the kitchen being a little bit smaller. I don't really want it to be huge. This is enough counters. Um, Foxy, in honor of your 10th grade student who is finally done with chemo, that's amazing news. Um, and for your recently passed cat with the $20 also, thank you both for those donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, is it ridiculous to extend the bathroom outwards, like over here? Um, I guess maybe not. I don't know. We could probably, like, <laughs> make it into a fake chimney or something. <laughs> um, and then we could have the bathroom be there if we made it into a fake chimney. Might actually be kind of good. Um, we could have also stolen some tiles from the bedroom. We could probably even still do that, to be honest. Do you know what? We could do that, and then we could have this be skinnier. 
because that might it gives us one extra tile and then the chimney isn't as like big i might like that and then we can put the shower in there okay that's nice <laughs> that's a good size so it ends up being three bathrooms which should be enough for us and then we also have this room which has currently no purpose <laughs> so um that's lovely can always make the dining room smaller i don't know maybe that the kitchen what this part i like the kitchen right here do you guys really hate it that much everybody keeps saying to switch it i kind of i kind of liked the kitchen where it was like what's the um what's the reasoning behind wanting to switch the kitchen out from where it is At, like honest question what's the what's the thought process because i actually kind of liked it w right there Um, so, here's the situation. I don't know how I'm going to have this wraparound porch not be awful. <laughs> it almost needs to like stop. But I don't really want it to stop, like, partially through the... But that's, like, almost what needs to happen. Unless there was, like... Maybe it stops... And there's a balcony? And it, like leads up to the balcony and then stops there and that's the justification for it ending but it continues on this way it's gonna have to be a half wall i don't know if i um i don't know if i'm super into that so don't get too excited i know people get really excited when there's balconies <laughs> I don't know if I like it, though. Um, big tree? I, I mean, a tree is always, like, one way to cover something like this. If you don't like it, just put a tree, is what I always say. Um, it is extremely odd. Well, that's clipping. That's so... Annoying. <laughs> Lattice roof with fences over the whole thing. I don't know if I... I don't know if I want to put a lattice roof over, like, the whole... Because I feel like there's a lot of... I don't know, there's a lot of stuff happening. Let me look at how this looks once we've put some of the other pieces together. I mean, if this was where the staircase goes, what is the lattice roof? Oh, they mean like, um, if we were to put like something, obviously it would be in a better location, but they mean if we were to do something like this and like make a custom lattice and do something like that, which I do a lot in the builds. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I find it scary. Oh, this is up four. Doesn't need to be that tall. Um. I'm wondering if once we put some of this together, it'll start to look better. Like, what do you guys think about that? Is that better? I... Actually, I kind of like it, to be honest. The window situation is going to be kind of weird. We used cats and dogs windows before.
Yeah, the window situation is going to be really weird because of how the floor plan is. It's like, do we do it like this or something? I don't really know. Um, probably not. The kitchen is inconveniently placed. Okay. Um, let's see. Why are you building a house when you can be in the kitchen? Oh, don't worry, I am in the kitchen where I belong. Let me work on decorating the kitchen quickly. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Silly me. Um. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Alright, let's use the pink fridge. I like this one. I think that's gonna be good. We used that before in the before I uh, bulldozed this kitchen, so. <laughs> Out of context? No, that was a person um, insulting me <laughs> from the front page. It's just a troll. I usually don't read them out loud, but it made me laugh, so I thought I would um, embrace it. <laughs> it was a troll. <sighs> don't worry. <laughs> Um, hey, by the way, um, moat, <laughs> moat, you want me to add a moat at 210,000? Oh dear God. Um, and Rose with $150 donation to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. I don't know if there's going to end up being enough space on the lot for us to have a moat. It would be really cute if we did, but I'm, I fear that there won't be enough space for us to have the moat of our dreams. Unfortunately. Um, I might have to use the island living. Unless we use, like, this cats and dogs door. Ugh. No. Do you want to use the island living sliding doors? I actually really like having a sliding door. Um, and these ones kind of are a little bit more traditional compared to the eco lifestyle ones. But I like to have a sliding door because I feel like it's, um, it's so realistic. At least, at least where I'm from. <laughs> um, a lot of houses have sliding glass doors, so. Um, I think I like that. I don't really like how the windows are placed on this corner, but that's okay. Let me see, snowy escape. See, I'm feeling a lot better about this build. You think a moat is quite realistic too? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Again with the moats. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't really feel obsessed with the back of the house, but, I mean, that's okay. You don't really have to be. Should I put a slight... Nah. Um, let me get some windows. Wait, did you bulldoze? I sure did! I'm sorry. I was- I've been, um, it's been a long day. <laughs> Anna, in honor of your birthday, happy birthday! Thank you for the donation. Um, Rose again, in honor of your grandmother, and Maddie for your nan who's beaten cancer four times. Thank you for that donation too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Let's see. Cats and dogs. I guess we'll just take this tiny window and like put a handful of them. Oh, I kind of am obsessed with that, to be honest. I actually really like that. This room's gonna have quite a few nice windows. Look at that. Pretty. Um, this room... I never have liked this cats and dogs door. Bookcase door and cat corner at 250k, please. You know what we need is like a bowling alley. <laughs> you know what would like really make this build? If we added a bowling alley to it. <laughs> okay, put this door right here. Beautiful, stunning. Go back to short wall height. Um... Finally, I'm, I'm making smart choices, huh? <laughs> okay, let's scoot this closer to the front of the lot. Um, Disney has moats, so it's very fitting. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> okay. Um, 
let's see packs cats and dogs shall we use like I guess realistically this window is probably the best one for right there and then do we do like this little one or do we use the big one again right here probably the big one again that's gonna be so nice in this like office we can line this with bookshelves because the sim is supposed to be a writer so we can line that with bookshelves and like make it all cute for them. Um, it's gonna be so pretty. I'm excited about it. Um, have you considered a rooftop garden that you can access through the bookcase door? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Twitch chat, we we sure do love a, a bookcase door around these parts, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, I love the idea of the library. I think this is a nice floor plan. Um, I think it's nice. Okay. Um, about the growing together arch. The growing together arch is actually smaller uh, than like how wide and open this is, which is why I wasn't gonna use it. I love the growing together arch, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit smaller than this. I don't know if you can tell, but the opening is like, I just kind of like the idea of it being big and wide. So, I think I might try and keep that. And it's like short, you know, the opening is smaller. Um, Sims build donation incentives when? We're doing that, we are doing that. Um, the donations control my Sims build, but probably not for a couple weeks. I've got it scheduled, don't worry, I didn't forget. <laughs> but thank you for that donation. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Okay, um, that's cute. I think I'll probably have the door into this room be right there because it fills in some of this open space. Um, this one came together faster than the last one. Well, yeah, this one did come together faster than before, but it helps that we've done it twice now. <laughs> Having done it uh, for the second time, I suppose you would hope that it came together faster than before. Because <laughs> it's not the first time we've done this exact thing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad. I feel like it looks cuter, so I'm happy with it. Um, I like the floor plan a lot better on this. I feel it has drastically improved. Okay, um, so for this section, this part is gonna be kind of, um, I'm kind of trying to think about, so this is this weird like long skinny bit. Um, we're gonna make it into the bathroom and walk-in closet for this primary bedroom. So the question is just like, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> What's the vibes that we're going for? Like, how is it gonna work? I think the closet could be first. You could probably walk through the closet to get into the bathroom. Um, I'm just not really sure how exactly this is gonna work. Maybe I could put a wall right there and we could have the shower be up against the wall because then I can still have windows over there. I'm just worried because if we're gonna have windows, I don't know how we're gonna put a shower in a corner. Um, but it could be like that. Shower sort of towards the front. Or we could put the shower in this way, kind of hidden behind a wall. And maybe there could be like, sort of cute white cabinets for some sort of double sink situation. Oh, this might work. I think that could be okay. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> I was anxious about that. <laughs> it was a weird room, but that'll that'll do probably. Okay, cats and dogs. I say we use these two windows and we like alt place them to get them um, to look like one window. Cause we don't need to have a door, like it's a bathroom, but. <laughs> Jason with the $5. Thank you so much, Anonymous, too. You guys, we've raised almost $205,000 for St. Jude. Um, 
That's amazing. Thank you for helping me do this. <laughs> um, okay. I feel good about that. The back is super weird. Like, objectively, this back part is really odd. But that's okay. Maybe it being odd is fun. Um, okay. And then... We can get ourselves, like, a nice big patio. So there'll be plenty of space for the pool and everything. Um, Shelby, I'm sending you a lot of love. Thank you so much for the donation. Um, in honor of your partner's mom, Sue. And Shelby, I, I'm wishing you the best. I know, I can't even imagine what you're going through. Thank you for that donation. Um, okay. I think that... Maybe if I put some little bits of plants there, maybe the pool could be along here. Because I'd really like to have a pool still. It was fun to have a pool before. Maybe the pool could go like this. There's plenty of walking space. And then we could do like the seating and stuff over here. Um, found a way to download the new free packs on Mac. Download the Epic Games app on a Windows computer and transfer the data to the EA app. Then get on your Mac and log into the Origin app and they will automatically download on your Mac. Oh. Yeah, so the way that the like the free stuff, the free packs thing works, it's so annoying. But you it doesn't work on Mac because you have to use the EA app to transfer the stuff from Epic Games to uh, your like EA account. And so it doesn't work um, it doesn't work if you don't have a a, a, a PC, sorry, because it doesn't work on Mac. There is no EA app for um, for Mac yet. Um, but they're saying if you have access at all to a PC. This is good advice. It's kind of convoluted, but like say for example, maybe your sister has a PC or um, maybe your neighbor has a PC. If they can log into your account and download it that way, then you can get them on your account on your computer, on your Mac computer. Does that make sense? Because um, the way it has to like transfer by opening up the, the app that way. Um, so maybe, um, You'd be able to do that. You just did it on Mac from the Epic Games website. You can get it on Mac. They just don't install into your EA app properly. Um, it's very bizarre. Um, it's very, very bizarre. I don't understand how it works. Um, but if you have access to like another person's PC, you might be able to do it that way. Um, so like maybe if your, I don't know, dad has a PC or something, see if you can try it on there and then be able to get it. Um, the problem is you need to have, you just need to be able to download the EA app and you might not be able to access that on your Mac because there isn't a, uh, there isn't a Mac version of the EA app, annoyingly. Um, annoyingly is maybe an understatement. <laughs> it really sucks that there isn't a Mac version of the EA app. It's extremely frustrating. Um, but there is still not a Mac version of the EA app. Yeah, or at the library, if you go to the library, um, just make sure you log out of your stuff afterward, obviously. Um, but that would work too, yeah. Um, will there be a greenhouse? Yeah, that's what this is right here. Uh, we had a greenhouse before on our original build, and I liked it, so I want it again. Oops. I feel like that's a pretty good layout for the backyard, right? There's enough green space, there's a lot of patio space, there's a big pool. That should be good. Um, Kat, thank you so much. I love you, friend, for that donation. Thank you so much. Um. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Maybe I could scoop this over again then. Like, to there. Okay. I feel good now. Let's, uh, paint the walls pink, shall we? <laughs> did I restart? Oh, I sure did, Bob the Plum Bob. I sure did. <laughs> we had built a pink house, and then I decided that I hated it. So, last time, we decided to use the wider pink planks. And I think that I still like the wider ones better. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, um, thank you for saying that. I really, really appreciate the kind words and I'm, I'm glad that I could be there for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you were all very generous, thank you. Um, like the roofline better on this one? Yeah, I like the roofline better on this one too. I think overall, I, I feel as though this one is better. 
I would hope so. Because <laughs> you'd think the second time you build something, it would be better. <laughs> so, I think it's better too. Luckily. <laughs> Um, I, I would hope. The, I, I feel like it's turned out nicer this way also. Yeah, I wish the growing together siding came in pink too. The problem is we absolutely have to do pink. Like, it, the outside has to be pink. There's no question it has to be pink on the outside. Oh my goodness. Should I use this pink stone for the chimney? Do you know what? If not now, when? Yeah, we should. Maybe I'll make it wider so we can really, really embrace the pink stone on the chimney. Oh my god. Yeah. Absolutely. Should I try and use it over here too? Or is that too much? I think it might be okay. Why is that even a question? Obviously use the pink stone. <laughs> Um, dad's he featuring the St. Jude? Yes, my dad will be here. Um, probably more than once. <laughs> so, uh, and thank you for that donation in honor of your grandma, um, or in honor of your granddad. Sorry, thank you so much. M2, thank you all, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, oh, the tiny spot by the front door has a small siding. Good catch. So, we had used this little gray roof before. I think I like this little gray swatch still. What do you guys think? Because I, I feel like that's kind of a cute... Oh, that doesn't need to be that color. This needs to be greenhouse. I think I like that. Pink roof? Oh, we tried. We decided that we didn't really like any of the um, the options. The, the pink roof options. So we didn't use them. Uh, like I said, this is not our first time doing this. <laughs> um, Sarah with the $5 to St. Jude also. Thank you. Oh, can I use... No, I shouldn't. We had used, um... Ooh. I think I used the cottage living floor in here originally. Do you guys like the cottage living one still? I do like the cottage living one. I think it's cute. Should we stay with that one? Probably. Okay. That's really nice. And you know what? There's not, like, two bathrooms right next to each other anymore, so I can get away with using this pink tile, and it's fine. Good. Okay. Okay. Would you like to... What staircase should we use? There's a cottage living one. That comes in all the wrong colors. Perfect. Now that'll have to do. That will have to do. Okay, put that right there. Oh, it's like white. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Kelsey with the $150 donation in memory of your grandmother. Thank you so much, Kelsey. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you for that donation. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Do you have to keep the Epic Games app after installing the free packs? I don't think so. If you've got them installed, I think it would probably be fine. But does anybody in chat know better than me about that? Is anybody else, like, maybe more positive about that? Because <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> and I don't want to misspeak and then tell you guys the wrong thing and have you uninstall it and then it be wrong. But I don't think you would need to keep it after you, uh, after you got it. Do not need to keep it. Yeah, as long as you've got the stuff installed properly, it should be fine to get rid of. Um, I do not like the Epic Games launcher, <laughs> but I use it to play Fall Guys. Um, Fall Guys and only Fall Guys is what I use the Epic Games launcher for. Um, okay, I actually think that it being slightly smaller is better. The room is like a better size for the living room now. Okay. That is an improvement. Um, oh my gosh, is this a terrible idea? Yeah, don't do that, Kayla, stop. I was like, can I put a half bathroom? No, stop, stop. Actually, stop. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Okay. I feel better. Still hate this. I think some trees will help. 
Smam, who says F penguin fact, penguins poop every 20 minutes. Oh, good for them. And time crystal, Eurovision update, Peppa Pig was there. Yes, people came in. As soon as they saw it, the whole chat was like, Peppa Pig is at Eurovision. <laughs> Literally, everybody, everybody in the chat was like, Kayla, <laughs> Peppa Pig is at Eurovision. <laughs> All of a sudden, the chat just explodes. It was really funny. Um, yeah, we did, we saw a uh, picture. Um, it was, uh, it was amazing. Truly fascinating. Should I use this stone? We used this stone before. I do still like it. You tried to vote on the upcoming packs and it wasn't loading, so you refreshed and it said you already voted. Really? It, um, I had, I tried to get Dan to take screenshots of the, um, the thingy for me, because I was like, because I was trying to make my thumbnail and I realized I didn't take screenshots, so I was like, oh no, Dan, can you take a screenshot of, um, the, what's it called, like the, um, the survey so I can use it in my thumbnail, and then it wouldn't let him open it because I think that it's like, um, IP based, and so it said that he already voted because I voted, <laughs> so he couldn't open it either, um, which kind of stinks, but, um, hopefully Dan, uh, appreciated what I voted for because it appears he does not get a say. <laughs> it wouldn't let him vote. He wasn't even gonna vote, he was just trying to open it for me so I could take a screenshot, but... Um... I ended up using a screenshot from the video instead. <laughs> um, okay. We can do the same landscaping as before. Yeah, it is weird though, cause the, like, there's almost certainly households where, like, more than one Sims fan is in the house, you know? Uh, like, if I lived at my parents' house, me and my sister would probably both want to vote. Um, and I don't know if my sister would agree with my choices. Too bad. <laughs> I guess. I don't like that. Oh no. I don't like this either. Should I do terrain paint in the front instead? You tried to vote twice, but for the opposite options? Well, you were gonna vote again and cancel out your own vote? <laughs> you were gonna vote again and cancel yourself out? <laughs> huh. I, I mean, <laughs> if that's what you wanna do, I guess. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to judge. Do what you want. Live your dream. Oh, wait. Um, maybe I'll scoot this whole thing over this way. Because what I want to do is ha no, wait. Scoot the whole thing over further that way. Chaotic neutral, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I want to do this, but I want it to be like centered the end point, I've decided. Um, what do you guys think about that? Is that cool? <gasps> we just passed $205,000 raised for St. Jude. Um, oh, uh, Peppa, Australia bans an episode of Peppa Pig because in, in the episode, Daddy Pig talks about how spiders can't really hurt you, um, but that's contrary to advice in Australia where they, you don't want the kids to not fear spiders, so they had to ban the episode? Oh my god, Peppa Pig is encouraging kids to get spider bites? <gasps> I actually think I'd heard about that episode, about the spider thing before. Um, that, honestly, honestly, shout out Australia for doing what had to be done and banning an episode of Peppa Pig. Um, but that's really interesting. I didn't know that. Peppa is rude and she's pro spider. Red flag. 
Red flag. <laughs> Isabel, um, in honor of your grandmother. My God, thank you for that donation. Um, Peppa as well, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll probably use a lot of the similar color scheme from before, don't worry. Uh, okay, testing cheats on. Um, move, bb dot move objects. No, wait, I didn't mean to do that. bb dot show hidden objects is what I wanted. bb dot show live objects. All right, debug. Oh, good poll. What build kit did you vote for? Castle with 81%? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised by that. Um, I think that the castle and the goth will win, is my prediction, based on what I've seen, um, is, is my, uh, my guess. But where did this vote exist? Oh, mods, can we link the tweet again? Small siding still on the front? Oh yeah, look at that. Um, that's what you voted for, goth castles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, cottage living. Okay. I would like to have some really pretty cottage living debug trees. Whoa. Very large cottage living debug trees. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, I think maybe if we got, I can't find them. Hello trees. There we go. Oh, that one's so cute. I should use this somewhere where it's like able to hide some of the, the corner or something. Um. You would like both the build kits and none of the clothes, really? I liked the, um, honestly, I liked the clothing kit options a lot. I thought they were super cute. Um, and I'm not usually a big into clothing kits, but I thought they were, um, thought they were both kind of adorable. The two that they showed. Um... Okay, I wanna try and like, Thought we already built this house? No, we built half of this house. And then I bulldozed it because I didn't like it. And now I'm doing it again. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, we actually did not already build this house. We only built part of it. <laughs> We've been through a lot these past couple days. <laughs> But I like this version better. So. Um, my one my one concern about the build kits, I will say, and I don't feel this way about the cast kits because I don't care about them as much. My one concern about the build kits is like, when they do these build kits, they're not very big. So it's like why I, I don't really love the, um, like the Courtyard Oasis kit either, because it adds like this super cool new build feature, like, well, these new build items, but like, they're not really all that fleshed out. Um, and I feel like to, to really get the most use out of them, I need some more window variants and stuff, and we just don't have that. Um, so that's part of the, the problem that I have with when they do build kits like this, it's just like, I feel like this isn't gonna be enough. So if we get the castle, it's like, there's probably gonna be a few windows and like maybe a new fence, maybe some new wallpapers, but like, it's not gonna be enough to be a full castle set. So that's gonna stink kind of, I think. That's kind of where my worry comes in with it. But I don't know, if they wanna prove me wrong, I would like that. <laughs> So we'll see. Um, okay, I wanted to get like a the fan wall decoration. I'm sorry that I'm making you watch this twice, by the way. I'm the worst. <laughs> Slugs have four noses, really? Oh, and a few episodes of My Little Pony got banned in the UK because cider here refers to alcohol. Oh, I didn't know they talked about cider in My Little Pony. I guess I can see that. Um. I guess I can see that. That's so interesting. Um, 
Because we have like alcoholic cider here too. But I don't think people hear cider and think that. People think like apple cider, you know? Um, which is like apple juice, yes? I don't know. Um, to you, cider is default alcohol? Really? Huh. I know, I guess, yeah, I know that, but that's really interesting. Um, <laughs> not My Little Pony getting banned in the UK. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, apple cider here is just like apple beer. What it- Is apple cider just like hot apple juice in America then? It, it, it is, right? It's just like hot apple juice? There's spices in it? Yeah. Hot, uh, seasoned apple juice. Yum. When you put it like that, it sounds like not that appeasing or appetizing, but it is. People like it. And it's unfiltered. Oh, so it's like pulpy. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> Not always. I feel like I'm- I'm trying to think. I don't know if I've ever had apple cider as an adult. Or at least any time recently. Cause I can't- at least I can't remember. So I don't really have a lot. I just I just kind of know what it is, but I don't know if I have any like recent personal apple cider experience. Peppa Pig was at Eurovision. Oh, we heard. It, it's been big news today. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. Um, and Kiara, happy birthday. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Um, Mystical, you like Pink House round two? Thank you, I'm glad. I like Pink House round two also. Let's try and do the kitchen for real. Cause you know, as we discussed, this is where um, I belong or whatever, <laughs> according to that user. Okay. Um, there's a lot more cabinet space in this version of the kitchen now, which is kind of exciting. Um, you get some really wacky misogynistic trolls when you're on the front page. We don't see a lot of it, um, on like a normal day. <laughs> Cause on a normal day, usually, um, there's not so many, uh, strangers in the chat, you know? Um, but you see some really, dare I say, interesting things in chat, um, when you're on the front page of Twitch, <laughs> so. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, do you know what? I would really like it if I could have these cabinets be like that, to be honest. What do you guys think about that? I feel like that's quite cute. This kitchen is bigger than the one that we had in the old house. Um, colors. I think that I use this too. Oh, adorable. And then I'll put a column on the end of it so that you don't see the wood. Okay. I like that. Um, $1 for finishing your first year of college. Congratulations. And Molly with the $50 who says teachers for the kids. Molly, thank you for everything you do. And thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, what pack are these cabinets from? Oh, they're from... Um, Unfortunately, the country kitchen kit. The monarch butterfly has 12,000 eyes. Huh? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good for them, I guess. 
I find that rather upsetting, to be honest. I don't like the... I don't like the thought of that one bit. Okay, question. What sort of chair are we going to use? Let me get myself a nice dining table. Um, maybe we could use the one from... I like this one. I like how it has the white legs too, and the wooden top. And then... Pink. Um, oh, I had used these before. And people didn't like the polka dots with the rug, but I did. That was the, that's where we're, where we're at right now. I remember. Um, let me think, maybe if we had a different cottage living. Why is there so little progress? Just got here? Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is your build empty, Kayla? Well, because I'm building it for the second time. <laughs> we started over. <laughs> Ground up half fermented apples. Yum, yum. Thank you for the donation to St. Jude also. Um, yeah, we are... Oh, this will be cute. Maybe for like the office or something. I don't know. Um, is this the shell? No, this is for my not so berry challenge. Um, so it's worse than the shell. It's, uh, for my legacy challenge and we're really struggling. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh my gosh, can we use that? Guys, we already pressed the button for 205,000. Don't worry, I didn't forget. <laughs> I didn't forget. We did press the button. Um, we did already press the button. Okay, cats and dogs. Um, is it the same exterior? No, it's like the same vibes, just different. You know? But it's not pink? What do you mean? This rug has pink in it. We're gonna have pink walls and stuff. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Um... We're doing our best. It's the same, but different. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. See, you understand. <laughs> Stanley Humphrey Stan Club. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, I really appreciate that. This pink rug is from Cats and Dogs. Yeah. Um, Maybe a fireplace behind the dining table where the cabinet is. Oh, a fireplace might be. Do you know what? If we did a fireplace in here instead, um, cause I didn't really want to put a fireplace in the living room. Cause I want to still have like the big fancy TV that we've been using. If we didn't put a fireplace in here, we'd be able to have a bigger TV. Which might be nice. Okay. That could work. We can make this work. I like it. You think the paranormal fireplace comes in pink? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Colors, pink. Oh. It's not really the same shade of pink. This is the, the vampire's one. Maybe we could try and use that in a different room though. Like maybe that could work in, um, oh. There isn't a lot of space, maybe not. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's the wrong shade of pink though because it's the not so very challenge. So as long as it's pink, it's a win. You know? All it has to do is be pink. Maybe we can make a cute gallery wall of photos to go above it. And that won't cost us any money. It doesn't match. 
Yeah, so it's the not so berry challenge. <laughs> I don't know how much I can emphasize this, but um, my friends, I would like to formally welcome you to the not so berry challenge where um, everything is the same color in a large and very significant number of shades. <laughs> Cesarian, Dollar Train, um, Anonymous, Alley -oop, thank you. One out of every four animals on earth is a beetle. One out of every four animals on earth is a beetle? Dollar Train for Simsy Love, thank you for the donations. Oh my god. What? Was that- look. Was that necessary information to share? <laughs> Was, did you have to tell us about that? I like that, that's nice. This room is a little bit larger than I would prefer. Maybe paranormal fireplace. Okay, does it actually come in pink though? Because it didn't show up in pink. No, it doesn't come in pink. It comes in white. This is kind of iconic though. I kind of like it. Is it for not so berry? Oh, it sure is. Um, do you plan on adding to or updating the not so berry challenge? Yeah, so people ask me about this like literally every day. <laughs> Um, and here's the thing, I would never add to the Not So Berry Challenge as it exists. I like, and by that I mean I wouldn't go in and add like a Gen 11, Gen 12, Gen 13, Gen 14, Gen 15. Like that to me is ridiculous because it would be so long it's impossible to finish. And as far as like update, I'm not going to go back and change the existing rules because um, it's become like such a thing of its own. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, what maybe would happen is like a Not So Berry 2 like a second version. Um, but that's not a thing that I'm planning on doing right now. Like, it's like not like now, now, you know, maybe someday, but not like now <laughs> because um, we got other things going on. But I, I probably wouldn't um, go back and like change it, you know, in that way. And I wouldn't add a, like additional gens to it as it exists. There's, there's versions of it that are like that. Like people have, uh, it's sort of taken on a life of its own. Like people have made like, um, additions and stuff like that's kind of the beauty of a thing uh being like adopted by the community where it it really does kind of become its own thing um and so i don't necessarily feel that i have to do that you know because so many people have done it but someday i'd like to maybe at make it like not so very too because i find the like storyline aspect of it really fun so and not so berry is like my bestie so <laughs> Um, from Rocky and Archie. Oh, I love your dogs. Thank you so much. You don't like beetles? No, they're kind of scary. Um, so, an arch next to the stair would be kind of cute. Yeah, but I worry that I would kind of throw off the, um, do you think it would throw anything off? We did before the base game square rug. We had like, this in white. Um, in the version that we just built that I bulldozed. <laughs> but we had this. This room is quite large. Maybe in a bad way. I don't know. I don't know. Colors pink. Um, do we want to like just do those curtains or oh, these are gonna be so cute? Um, Cause we can make those as big as they need to be. Do we have any pink pianos in the game? Oh, I don't. No. Oh, that one's pink. I feel like that's a little bit excessive though. It's like a little on the large side. 
I'd almost want to like, I don't know if I like it. It's so pretty, but I don't know if that's like what I'm going for with this, you know? Also, where's my kit thingy, this? That's nice. Paul McCartney, the Beatle. Okay, I never said anything wrong about the Beatles. It's just the Beatles. You know? <laughs> um, that lacy piano was from the wedding pack, believe it or not. Um, okay. Um, I don't know if I like this. Get some prettier lights. I almost want this to be like... Um, what about Growing Together Piano? The Growing Together Piano is beautiful too, but it doesn't come in pink. The, the inspiration was just pink, not so much piano. Um, but that would be beautiful. To have a piano. But the only reason we wanted to use it was because it was pink. <laughs> that was that was the inspiration behind the piano situation originally. Um, okay, I wonder if I could like... No, that feels like kind of unnecessary. Um, we'll have to see about that. Um, we want this to be like a nice, formal, but cozy living room. Big square table. Maybe if there was like, um, I don't know. What if there was like a door? What if there was like a side door? I'm thinking like literally what if there was a door that was like the same as this one, but maybe it had windows in it? Wait. Like what if we did something like that? And then there was just like a little side patio situation. Cause that gives us something in the corner and then it gives us kind of a cute like additional thing. You can't even see it that well from the front, so it doesn't really matter that much, you know? Like, it's not like it's in the way. Um, okay. Put the TV on the other wall. Oh, you think? Um... I guess we could. Part of what I liked about this wall, though, and this maybe sounds a little silly, um, but I'm worried about these cabinets still being visible when the walls are cut away. So let me find out. Oh, do you see that? So people are going to see those cabinets that we have and when the walls are cut away, which I mostly play as, and they're going to be like, why do you just have those floating tables? Um, so I might keep the TV on this wall for that reason. Um, Jess, oh no. 99% of the human body is empty space. What does that even mean? Oh my god. And congrats on your new job. That's exciting. Emily asks, can you name my 100 baby first matriarch? Yeah, name it Kayla. Easy. Wait, do I want to be involved in that? Do, do I want you to name this to Kayla? Do I, hmm. <laughs> No, you should name it Kayla. I like that name. It's one of my faves. <laughs> um, what do you guys think about... Okay, that's very mid-century. Hmm. I think that's kind of cute. 
as an anatomy major, that is not true. <laughs> I don't know. I just people just tell me things and I repeat them. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Let's see. Should we do like the big bookshelves that we kind of talked about? Um. I think they're talking about the void and atoms. Maybe they are. I don't know. It's impossible to say. Oh, very magical. Very tall. Very fancy. Okay, here's the thought process behind these bookshelves. This sim, while these are very fancy, this sim is going to be a author. So they probably would have fancy bookshelves. And that gives us a lot of shelf space that we can do some like kind of cute things in. Like we could put, I don't know, think some pretty plants. Um, what, they don't slot to there? Surely you're kidding. But I don't know, imagine we could get some like a lot of our really cute things in the shelves here. Okay, that's not fitting. Hold on. Brown was pretty cool too. Oh, you liked the brown swatch? The reason I wasn't gonna use the brown swatch is because um, I kind of liked the very light colors and there's not really a lot of dark wood in this house yet, so that's why I was kind of not thinking that, but I don't know. Do you have the red shelf? Um, I don't have the red shelf mod because I usually just use these um, cubbies from Dream Home Decorator. It serves the same purpose. Roughly 10% of a human's weight is blood. Good God, I don't want to think about that. Um, there's a type of lizard called the Greater Shorthorn Lizard that squirts blood out of their eyes. Oh my God. Stop with the creepies! <laughs> Sunflower! Um, in honor of your grandma, thank you so much. Humans and bananas have 60% DNA in common. I did know that. Um, Turtles, who says the leatherback sea turtle is the largest sea turtle species that can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. <gasps> Good for them. Legend. Um, and fun animal fact, uh, this kind of jellyfish can weigh over 400 pounds. No way. Guys, I actually have a hilarious thing I want to show you. So last night, I had a rather, uh, I had a bit of a crisis. So I live in Florida, okay? And around these parts, we have a lot of lizards. Okay, a lot of lizards around these parts. Um, and yesterday <laughs> at like 10.30 at night, um, I went out to put uh, a couple cards that I'm mailing in my mailbox and in runs a lizard. Immediately, cat chases lizard under the couch. Lizard is under the couch. <sighs> There's a lizard in my house now. So I lock the cat in my bedroom and I have to try and get this lizard out of the house and out from under the couch so I can save its life. Cause I have a devil cat and also if it's in the house, it's gonna die no matter what. Um, and so I'm trying to get it out. It's not leaving. It climbs on the underside of the couch, not just like on the carpet, like under the couch, but he's like upside down hanging on top of the bottom of the couch. Okay. So what do I have to do? Me and Dan have to lift up the entire couch. <laughs> Like the entire couch to try and get the lizard. It's in this Tupperware and then I put like paper there to try and get it into the Tupperware so I can bring it outside. <laughs> so there was a whole ordeal last night of us trying to rescue this lizard who was underneath the couch. <laughs> I, I've had to do quite a few lizard rescue missions in my life. That wasn't the first one. And every time this happens, it makes me so anxious that like, how many other lizards are in my house right now that I didn't see? That I didn't know about, you know? This one time I was watering my plants, like my indoor house plants, just watering them, you know? And I went to water one of them and a lizard jumped out of it and like flung itself against the window absolutely terrified me. I didn't see it until I poured water on it, evidently, and it jumped out of the plant. But like, are there lizards in my plants often? That's the only time I've seen that happen. It's never happened before that, and it hasn't happened after that. But there was a lizard in my plant! Anyway, so 
sometimes when that happens, I, I wonder to myself, how often does this really happen? Are there more right now that I don't know about? Is there a lizard in this very room that I haven't seen? Maybe. Maybe. There's no way to know for sure. How do they get in the house? I don't know. I mean, that one got in the house because it ran in when I opened the door. I think that it was on the door. And then when I opened the door and like swung the door in, it came into the house. It probably like jumped off the door when I opened it. All I know is that all of a sudden there was a lizard running around the floor. So. Yeah, we have like screens in the windows. Um, it's more like probably the door situation. But, I don't know. Um. <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> Anyway, I rescued it, so. <laughs> Vending machines and cows both unalive more people each year than sharks by at least six times. I didn't know that about cows. I knew, I knew it about vending machines, and I see it firsthand in The Sims 4 every day. Um, also, Nico, thank you for that donation. Um, I appreciate both of you. Thank you so much. Um, what do the cows do? How does one... This is a serious question. How does one get, like... Do they, like, attack? They trample you? Oh. Well, I don't like that. That's horrible. Wait, go back there. Hold on, I'm gonna put this up here. Cute. I like that, okay. That's scary. I guess they're heavy. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I'm scared of cows. No, I like cows, I think they're cute. That's how I really feel about them, but. Okay, we're gonna have to put a lot of things in these shelves, so. Hold on, everybody. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> um, shark fact, did you know that sharks have swim? No way. Um, oh God, ouchie, I hope you're okay. With a cheese grater, you hurt your fingers. I'm so sorry, I hope you're all right. I hope you're all right. My friend Sasha, this is horrible, we shouldn't talk about it. My friend Sasha really hurt her hand really bad um, cutting an avocado and it scared me. Now whenever I think about avocados, I get nervous. I'm not kidding ever since she did that. Um, so, avoid cheese graters, apparently, chat. <laughs> Maybe the couch couches can face each other? Well, I was hoping to have a couch um, here, because I wanted it to face the TV, was kind of my inspiration behind that. Um, I wanted it to face the TV, so we could have more stuff there. Um, Oh, that's cute. It comes in pink. Hmm. I guess we probably don't have to completely fill these shelves either, because when we actually move into this house, we'll be able to bring a lot of our items from home. And we do have a rather significant amount of items at home that we'll be able to bring here. So maybe I should avoid filling the shelves in until we have like all of our little, you know, like things the Sims have made and like all the little crafty stuff that we've got. Um, the urn feels appropriate though, yeah. <laughs> Anonymous, in honor of your grandfather, thank you for that donation to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Uh, this room is kind of dark and I don't like it. Also, do we need to have like a staircase out here? What am I gonna put out here? I don't really know yet. Maybe I'll furnish this office first because the office is more fun for me. Um, is that a lizard in your plants or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the $20 question, what is your favorite snap behavior? Oh my God, I'm sorry, I can't get over that. Um, my favorite behavior that my cat does, do you know what? Every night, um, <laughs> every night she, she like tells me it's bedtime. She like puts me to bed 
Um, I'll be sitting on the couch usually, like maybe watching something. And then she'll come up and like sit on me and be like, come on. And then she gets up and like runs to the bedroom door, you know? And like sits there and waits. And I can tell she's trying to get me to follow her, you know? She's like, okay, it's bedtime, come on. <laughs> um, and then and then when she goes to bed, um, my, my bedroom, imagine like, it's kind of like this, right? Except in, in real life, there, it's not closed. So imagine my bedroom is like right here and there's a tiny hallway, my closet's here and the bathroom's here. Well, my sink, let's do a diagram. My sink is like right here and the bed is like right there, okay? So I'll be standing here at the sink and I can see her sitting on the end of the bed, staring at me and then she'll scream and be like, come on. <laughs> but I'm like trying to brush my teeth and I could just see her right there, like staring at me, trying to get me to come. <laughs> um, she's really funny. She's like, hurry up, it's bedtime, I'm tired. It used to be worse when we lived in the old house because in the old house, my bedroom here is on the same floor as the living room, but at my old house, it was upstairs. And so she would like try and get us to follow her upstairs. So she would like run up and then sit at the top and look at me and be like, come on. And then she'd come back down and be like, come on. <laughs> and then try and bring me upstairs with her. Um, that's my favorite thing that Snap does is, is put me to bed. She says it's bedtime. She decides when. <laughs> Um, Diana, thank you for the $10. Oh no, avocado, I'm so sorry. Um, and save a bee? No, save a spider. Um, you can use an empty matchstick box to catch a spider, just slide a little buddy into the box. Oh, that would save a spider, I suppose. Um, oh, one of your favorite college experiences was, uh, was raising money with your soror sorority for St. Jude. Um, thank you so much for saying that, and thank you for the donation also, I really appreciate that. Um, okay, shall we do the bathroom then? We have enough space in here now, it's bigger than the last house's bathroom, so. Honestly, I'm kind of obsessed with the pink. There's something about literally everything in this room being pink that's kind of iconic. I won't lie, like, it's kind of good. So maybe I will. Um... I guess it has kind of like a rose gold. Should we use gold then? Maybe I'll just use the white. Um, it's very <laughs> 80s grandma pink bathroom. It's giving Trixie Motel. Okay, I, I like I like it's giving Trixie Motel better than 80s grandma. Um, <laughs> humans and cats share 90% DNA and Peppa Pig room? Okay, the whole place is gonna be Peppa Pig room, let's be honest. Um, okay. Colors pink. Oh, that's got like flowers on it, but it's kind of cute. Maybe it would be better if it was all white. I don't know. It's extremely 50s chic. Okay, that's kind of fun. Um, Capybara is the world's largest rodent. They're kind of cute too. I like them. Good vibes those little guys have. Um, oh, this is bigger. That might be better. And we can do it in the white. Oh, it's not white, it's silver. Uh, that's ugly. Should I just do this then? <gasps> the sink comes in pink. I'm obsessed. This has a pink swatch too. We can do something kind of silly in this bathroom. Like we can really kind of um, embrace the chaos here, you know? It's the not so buried challenge. Like when else are you gonna get to do this? <laughs> I love it. There's even a pink medicine cabinet that matches. Oh my God. I love that so much. Um. Willow the Black Cat! Did you know October 27th is National Black Cat Day? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> it's also, is it your human's birthday as well? Oh my gosh. Um, 
<laughs> they also said, also, cats weren't domesticated by humans. We domesticated ourselves to eat mice that ate human grains and also get pets. There you go. <laughs> uh, well, shout out to your human whose birthday is um, October 27th. And Willow the Black Cat, thank you for that cat fact about how smart you are. <laughs> You're so right. 100% agree. <laughs> Smart enough to steal your human's credit card and donate on behalf of St. Jude. Pink toilet, maybe? Well, there is a pink toilet, but it's like the cheapest one. That's why I was kind of like not wanting to use it because it does come in pink, but that's the... Oh, it's 580. It isn't the cheapest one. Okay, we could probably use that then. That's fine. I thought it was cheaper for some reason. I thought it was like the extra cheap one, but it's not. Um, maybe, is there a pink soap bottle? I don't like that one. Okay, it can be white, that's fine. Maybe I will use the pink mirror then. Oh, I love this bathroom. <laughs> I'm having a great time right now. <laughs> okay, um, we need to have something pink for under, I mean, there is a pink like toilet mat and I would assume, oh, maybe not. I don't really want that swatch. I'd rather get like a cute pink. Perhaps more. No. Please use the pink toilet paper too. Is there pink toilet paper? I thought there, I, I guess there is that like pink. We could slot that to the back of the toilet seat. High school years rug. Maybe that one comes in a good swatch. That's not pink. Oh, that's very like, honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of Barbie. That probably works to be honest. I like that, okay. I like this bathroom. That's so fun. I'm gonna have a great time with this build. Okay, that's really, really cute. Um, upstairs, I'll probably use the same tub again. Um, I don't know if this sink will fit. Oh, no, it will. Okay, we could probably do something like this. So we have a little bit more counter space and then we can try and decorate it better. Um, Steffi, in honor of your dad, thank you for that donation to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, the tub does have a matching sink, except it's, um, it's not pink. So, like, the style of the tub, there's a sink that came in growing together, but it's not, there isn't a pink swatch, um, which is stupid of them. And, and they should have added a pink swatch and I hate them for not adding a pink swatch, but they didn't add a pink swatch to the, to the tub for whatever reason. Um, so therefore it's ruined. And I don't know what to do about it. Okay. Can they get into this tub? I'm gonna test it. Come here. Oh God, jump scare. Literally, Strangerville jump scare. Can you use it? Oh yeah, you're fine. Okay, naked alien jump scare. <laughs> Excellent. Um, is that sink pink? Yeah, it's a very light pink, so is the toilet. Giggles! Thank you for that donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to use some of the makeup. And maybe like the bathroom 
some of the bathroom clutter like that would be so cute oh this even comes in pink oh my gosh of course it does as it should um toothbrush okay there's a Peppa Pig sunglasses filter on Snapchat. Is there really? We can't escape her. Oh my god. Um, it's unbearable. She's everywhere. Do your Sims have to wear pink? Oh yeah, and this save, yeah. <laughs> Jade, with a hundred dollars, because bigger is better and better is bigger. Sharpay, because pink house. Thank you so much, you're so right. Um, yeah, you can put robes in the back of the doors. Uh, your Sims will just walk through it. It totally works just fine. I do it all the time. <laughs> um, that's a fun uh, tip if you're trying to do some like cute decorating. Um, you can just put the robe on the back of the door. Okay. I like that. That seems nice. Um, maybe I could make this a Jack and Jill bathroom. We'll put another door into it because there's enough space. Maybe a pinker toilet. There's not really any options that are like as aggressively pink as I would like. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I guess the Snowy Escape one is sort of pink, but I don't like that it has the blue light in it. And this is just not, it's got green, you know? Um, this one is less, there's less blue accent to it, which I consider to be a good thing. Um, okay, let's do this last bathroom. Have I saved recently? Oh no, no. Every time I click on your challenge streams, you're always stressing out. Do you know what? That reminds me. Earlier today, I was watching my friend Avery's stream. You guys might know Avery. Her uh, her name is Little Siha on Twitch. Um, and she was talking about how, like, I forget the word that she used, but basically she was like, oh, Kayla's so impressive. She's, like, never stressed out. She's always so collected. I was like... <laughs> well... <laughs> Um, <laughs> look, I'm not gonna argue with you, but, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Very nice of you to say, but... <laughs> anyway, she's very cool. Um, if you don't want her, you should. She's really great. Um... Well, I'm not just saying that. I mean it. Okay. Um, pro tip, you can never seem stressed if you're always stressed. Oh, you're so right. Maybe that's the key to it. Just always be stressed and then people won't think that you're stressed because you just always like that. Can we do a bathtub under that window? Um, I guess we could. The only thing is with the bathtub is like, um, it's to me, it's a little bit less functional than a shower. Um, so I'd rather have like three full showers in this house. Um, just because the bathtub is a little bit less usable and we're gonna have a lot of Sims. So it might be like more beneficial to us. I don't wanna do a shower tub combo because I don't wanna put it in front of the window. So that's why I had like just the shower before. Cause I felt like that was a good, um, a good option, but I don't know. Um, yeah, Sims take more time to take a bath than it takes for them to take a shower. So it's like objectively uh, better to have a shower than a bath because they're faster in the shower, which is something that we desperately need in a challenge sort of situation um and we have baths elsewhere so we have space for the kids to bathe you know um that's true and you can't woohoo in a bathtub see you're so right 
You are so right. Um, okay, I'm gonna give them another one of those. I love the wall hook. I think that's so cute. Okay. Um, maybe like one more. Honestly, why not? We have shower woohoo, so why not bathtub? You know what, Christine? Asking the real questions. Why not bathtub woohoo? <laughs> Could you possibly sort the roof out, please? Um, what about the roof is bothering you? What, this part? Doesn't bother me that much because it's like up against the wall. But um, if it really, really bugs you enough to bring it up. Um, is that what you were talking about? The tiny clip? Or do you mean this part that's tiny clipping? Because um, I was going to have that. I guess we can. Now that I have. Oh, actually, now that I expanded the chimney, we don't need to have it go in anymore. Um, is that what you were talking about? I thought it was fine, but if it really bugs you that much, we can change it. <laughs> I was more going to work on that once I was actually decorating those rooms, but it's no big deal. <sighs> okay. Um, this is going to be like a little closet. I would love to have... I'm not going to use the Dream Home Decorator stuff because it bugs me. Like, so much. <laughs> So I'm not going to use it. You can't convince me otherwise. I simply just won't. Like, I actually will not. But um, I might use those things. Maybe I'll get a dresser, too. See? Like that. So there's like a little closet that you walk through to get to the bathroom. Why does it bug you? The Dream Home Decorator stuff looks weird. Like, the texture of it's weird. And it constantly deletes itself. Constantly deletes itself in-game. Um, Ellen, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Toe pun dollar train. <laughs> it's your birthday today too. Oh my goodness. They said, what's a foot's favorite chocolate? A toe blurone. Get it? And pigs are great jazz artists. 100% true fact. I believe you. I can see that. Good for them. Um, Okay. Let's do some, like, simple stuff in this hallway. I'm gonna get a thermostat. Um, probably put it right there. Do you know what? I might do... I love the picture situation. Um, maybe I don't like that, actually. Never mind, change my mind. Pink. Um... Kit stuff is good. That's okay. Oh, this is kind of screaming Barbie to me, to be honest. I sort of like that. And then maybe... Like this Cats and Dogs bookshelf. Perhaps a plant? I like that. <laughs> It's so pink. I love doing, I love doing stuff like this for Not So Berry. It's so fun getting to make, like, everything pink. And pink is better than some of the ones that we've done before, like, because pink is, um, pink is, like, more palatable, <laughs> let's say, than, like, the orange house was, you know? Like, it was kind of hard to do the orange one, because I just don't like orange as much. But I love pink. So the pink is fun. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. This will be... Um, no, I wanted to do the office. Let's do the office first. Um, the house is going to have one, two, three, four, maybe five bedrooms. So it's actually quite big. Um, toe pun dollar train. Um, which toes make the best mouth freshener? Men toes? Ew! <laughs> Not the men toes! No, 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 no. No one need ew! <laughs> they said sorry, that one grossed me out too. <laughs> Enjoy an ability. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude also. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> ew! <laughs> 
Okay, should we do like maybe a simple pink wall in here? Because it's just going to be a nice little office. And maybe we could get... Oh, I wonder if we could use these curtains. It's sort of a different shade of pink. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like we need to keep in mind, so we need to have a desk. Um, I'd like to get a really nice desk in the middle of the room. Oh, no, stop, Kayla, stop. I wanna have like a desk in the middle on the rug. Oh, this one's good too, but not for this purpose. Um, like this one, that's kind of the vibes, you know? Um, and then they'd probably have like, that's pink. Office should be closed off, you think? Oh, I like it being open to the entry because I think it looks nice in this hallway. Um, obviously in real life, it might be nicer to have some more closed off space, but this isn't real life. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Kind of obsessed with the gold there. Pink Jen has to be in the business career, um, but they're also like an author. So they spend a lot of time writing and they eventually quit their job, have like a little midlife crisis moment, quit their job and then uh, become an author. So, um, ew, ugly. Oh, this is the high school years bookshelf. It does have pink on it. Probably makes this desk not really work anymore though. Hmm. I hate this desk because the keyboard doesn't fit right. I think we need to have like a light wood color. Some sort of pretty desk with some sort of pretty. <gasps> That's pink wood? Oh my god. Well, there. Problem solved. That fits perfectly. <laughs> Low kitty! Uh, Sarah! Where does a foot go on vacation in The Sims 4? Tartosa. <laughs> we've, gone, we've gone too far with the toe puns. Thank you so much, both of you. Oh, I like that actually. To me, that is really adorable. Um, I don't know if I like these curtains though. I might wanna do something simpler. We could just do the white. Might be nice. That might be nice. Yeah, I like that. Um, we have the gold accent still, so it ties in the chair. Um, why do cows have hooves? Because they lack toes. <laughs> Lactose, get it? <laughs> Olivia, um, Ray, thank you, thank you for all your donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's see. Could you close off the office, put a large door into it? Yeah, guys, I obviously I understand that in real life it would probably be more beneficial to you to have like a closed off office, but I like it being open because I just think it's it's pretty with the entrance right here. Um, and they don't need peace and quiet in The Sims, so. Um, I'm gonna leave it open probably, <laughs> to be honest. I just kind of like it open, so. Um... I like that little chair. Let's see, how about an archway instead? I like how it looks, so I'm probably not gonna switch it, okay? Um, I, I think it's kinda cute. Um, we, we kinda have this vibe going on in the other areas too. So, um, I think I'll probably keep it like this. Um, we'll get a pretty clock, that'll be nice. Would a spandrel look good? Um, I kind of liked it just open. We can go through and add a spandrel to both, I guess. The difference is that um, 
I'd probably just do it there and there, and the whole place is kind of just open, so I don't know. Um, I don't know. Joy and Ability, thank you for that dollar to St. Jude again. Thank you so much. Um, okay, hold on. I'm getting just- everyone's just giving me a million different ideas, so hold on. <laughs> Uh, Millie, the fishbone tabby, who says, personally, like, purr, like a cat, I think we're nailing these toe puns. Um, two cats and an anxious student who says, in honor of me and my cats, they need to stop procrastinating my homework. Good night. Have a great night. Um, and what did one toe say to the other? I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Gold clock? Oh, I guess. I forget that there's, like, like, this one has a gold swatch. Oh, that's actually really nice. Um, maybe a pretty piece of artwork that is gold framed. Um, problem is a lot of the stuff in gold frames is really expensive. Like that's 790, this is 940, and then it's like not even pink, you know? 2,195. <laughs> Don't joke! What did one toe say to the other after got a promotion? Congrats, you totally toenailed that. Oh no. <laughs> is there a pack limit? No, so I'm building this for myself. Um, this is like for my own- Ah! Probably not gonna spend that money. This is for my own gameplay. Um, so I don't really do pack limits when I'm making something for me to play in, as you can probably imagine. Um, because I'm just building this for me. I'm not really thinking about, like, people downloading it and stuff. It's more, um, what's gonna fit my style for, um, and what I need for my sims. But, um, I do a lot of, uh, I do a lot of pack limited builds. Today's just not one of them, you know? We're doing a base game build on Sunday, though. At least that's the plan. Um... Let's see, maybe I'll use this again. It doesn't really match the f the stuff that we have on the rug, though. Hmm. Could put the new photo frames there. Yeah, I guess we could do, um, like a little mini gallery wall and add some gameplay photos. Oh. Okay, it might come in gold, but <laughs> not in a good way. <laughs> um. Dylan, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior car, Jesus? Oh, here we go. Toller Swift. <laughs> um, what do you call bread with toe jam on it? Toast? Oh, no. An anonymous who says, heck, cancer, spider. Thank you all for those donations. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're actually getting really close to $206,000 raised for St. Jude. All right, let's not spend too much money on that room yet, just for the sake of, like, making sure we can afford to furnish the rest of the house before we get too far ahead of ourselves here. Um, I'd love to, like, finish properly decorating this kitchen, actually. Um, it's me, I'm the meat wall. Oh, no. If it's an all-pink house and the meat wall is pink, that's all I'm saying. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the meat wall is pink. It sure is pink. You'd argue that it's red? That's true. Depends how you look at it. <laughs> it depends how you look at it. You guys, actually, that reminds me. I bought a couple more giveaway codes. I've got two giveaway codes for Eco Lifestyle. Do you want to do a little Eco Lifestyle giveaway? <laughs> That's the pack that comes with the meat wall. I bought a couple codes. We could do it. Yeah? Let me get it open. Hold on. Giveaways. Create giveaway. Um, what should I have you type? Okay. If you would like a chance to win The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle, um, please type the word meat in the chat. Meat like the, the meat wall. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Truly, I am so sorry for what I have done. 
I don't know what's gotten into me. <laughs> I don't even eat meat. It's so gross. But we're doing a giveaway of The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. Um, this is a, a PC and Mac copy, so it'll work if you have The Sims on your computer. Um, but yeah, type that word meat in the chat for a chance to win. Um, oh, did I enter? I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter. I hope I win. <laughs> I hope I win. I would love to win. That would be so fun for me. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to go about this. I feel like, um, in this kitchen, I would love to have, um, I would really love to have, like, some more... I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm not obsessed with right now. So I'd love to have it be... I don't know, like more cabinets or something? I just don't really... I'm not feeling it. Um, oh, hi, Snap! We were just talking about you! Do you want to come here? They're doing a giveaway! They're typing the word meat in the chat! You like that! Come on! There you go! Do you want to look at the chat? <laughs> this is my cat. <laughs> um, anyway, type that word meat in the chat for a chance to win. Um, the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. One of my uh, favorite packs, if I'm being honest with you. I like it. Do you know what? What if we... Um, how about this? What if we, like... Extended the... Um, the window situation, and then we expanded the counters around the corner. Do you think that's maybe better? I think I like that. Right? Um... Maybe you could do, like, that piece just there. That seems really nice, actually. I like that. Um, technically, the meat wall is vegan. Actually, if you've got vegetarian sims and they eat m food made with the meat cubes, they don't like it. They get sick. I learned from experience. Um, anyway, type that word meat in the chat, like, one more time, and I will draw a winner of this giveaway in a second. Ashlyn, um, Obi-Wan could... Toby, <laughs> thank you so much. Did the love affair maim you, Toe? Freddy the doggo, thank you for the donations, everybody. Jackie as well. All right, I got two winners. I'm gonna draw them here in like 10 seconds. Type that word meat in the chat one more time for a chance to win the meat wall, which comes in the Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. Ready? In five, four, are you trying to bite my headphone cord? Five, four, three, two, one, draw entrant. And the winner is... Shay McNerd. Congratulations, Shay. Um, let me put your name in the chat a couple times. Um, I will whisper you a code to this pack. Um, and the second winner, second winner, we got two codes. This is the last one. Snap, don't click my finger. Um, Kashi SD, Kashi SD. That's my water. Oh my God, you're being so chaotic. Um, sorry. <laughs> the second winner is Kashi SD. Congratulations to you two. I'm gonna, um, open up your whispers so I can send it to you. You are both gonna get a DM from me on Twitch, um, with your code so that you can install it. I hope that you like it. Um, oh my god. <gasps> Over a year ago, Kashi SD won a different one of my giveaways. They won Spa Day back in 2022. I've already messaged them once before. That's- what are the chances of that? That's so interesting. Oh my god, well... Winner, winner! Congratulations! <laughs> you are a lucky person! <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> um, I messaged you both the code if you want to uh, open that up so you can download it. That's actually wild. I can't believe that. Um... <laughs> Well, there you go. Hey, at least you know they've been in a stream a bunch of times. <laughs> That's really awesome, though. Congratulations. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, oh my god, if I won two giveaways on a Twitch stream, I would never shut up about that. I would tell everybody. I'd be like, you will not believe what just happened to me. <laughs> what are the chances? That's so cool. Okay, 
Let's uh, let's try and finish up some of the decor in this kitchen, shall we? I'm liking this better. Maybe we could get some cute pink, like, little curtains. Do these come in pink? No, but they come in white, so that might be okay. Um. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not with them tiled like that. Never mind. Maybe a different one. Go away. Hmm. What are those curtains from? Oh, those are from. Ew. Those curtains that I was just looking at are from the Sims 4. Uh. Get to. Babies. Get. Growing together. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, get to. No. Starts with a G, though. Growing together. <laughs> Growing together. That's right. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You were not lucky, but you were able to get Eras Tour tickets. That was skill. There you go. I'm glad you were able to get some. Do you know what? I was looking, actually, speaking of Taylor Swift Eras Tour tickets, I was looking at, um, I was looking, um, at the, like, Chicago resale tickets because me, Dan, and a couple of my friends are gonna stay at my grandma's house and see Taylor in Chicago, um, on June 3rd. So, soon. Um, but we bought those, like, in the great Ticketmaster chaos. So we got them like for regular price. I was looking at how much the resale tickets cost today because I was just kind of curious. They're selling seats in our section for like $2,000. <laughs> Obviously, we bought them at the regular price, so not $2,000, but they're selling them. There's even seats like up in like the nosebleeds that are like $1,000. <laughs> oh my god it's unbelievable i bought resale tickets in tampa oh they were not that expensive i cannot believe how much they're costing in in chicago right now and i think that new york is the same i think that just as the tour is going on and she's getting like as people are talking about it more it's like unbelievable Anyway, oh gosh, she just replied. They said, thank you so much. I can't believe I want another giveaway. My heart is beating so fast right now. I bet it is. Mine would be too. <laughs> That's wild. I'm glad that you won. That's really great. Um, I'm really, I'm really glad. That's awesome. Um, oh, and Jamie, thank you for the donation. Dahlia as well. Thank you so much, Mary, with the donations to St. Jude. Um, Mary, um, in honor of, of that little one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, Okay, anyway, let's see if we can finish decorating this little kitchen. I'm liking this. I feel like it's, it's, um, it's turning out better. We need to get a couple important things. Obviously, money trash can, which maybe, uh, ruins the vibes a little bit, but <laughs> it's too bad. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> um, we also need a spot for the pet bowl, so I'll put it over here. Um, when did we hit 200k? Yesterday! We, we hit $200,000 raised for St. Jude yesterday. I actually cannot believe it. <laughs> but yeah, that happened yesterday when we were live. Um, so hard to wrap my head around, honestly. That's really bright, that pink. Maybe I'll do a lighter pink. Um, Kira, thank you so much. Apart from the amazing charity work you do, what's another achievement you were proud of? Oh, that's a really good question. Honestly, honestly, the when people ask me this, usually I say the charity streams because like, good God, this is like the greatest achievement of anything ever. Um, but I don't, I mean, I bought a house. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> maybe I would say that um, is maybe my other biggest achievement, but that's like so intertwined with like my YouTube channel too, because obviously I wouldn't be able to do that without you guys. So at the end of the day, the real answer is the community that we built, because that's why we have both those things, isn't it? <laughs> and maybe meeting Rick Astley. But really deep down, the true answer is the community that we've built on the internet, because the community we built on the internet is like the reason we have all of this, <laughs> you know? Um, if it were not for that, we wouldn't have any of it. So <laughs> we wouldn't have Rick, we wouldn't have the charity. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I wouldn't have this house. So thank you. It's you is the real answer. <laughs> the friends we made along the way. There you go. That's a good answer. Um, okay. I think I wanted to put the little shelf that comes with cats and dogs. I really like this because it feels like such a cute, dedicated little pet space, you know? I think I'd like to have that here. Um, and I'll center both those things with it. Yay! Should we get two of these automatic pet feeders? It probably wouldn't hurt to have two, huh? Even if I only have one pet. I don't know. We might end up having two pets, so. I like that, okay. Let's get some more cutesy decor, shall we? Um, Pack space game. How is this chat on slow mode? It's going so fast. Yeah, it, here's the thing. At a certain point though, with the slow mode stuff, um, when there's like so many people watching a stream, the slow mode doesn't actually make that big of a difference because this, what slow mode does is it prevents an individual from sending too many messages like in a row. Um, so you uh, like an individual can't spam the chat when the chat is on slow mode. But when there's like, you know, a few thousand people there, no matter what slow mode you have on, there's still like a few thousand people typing in the chat, you know? So uh, to a certain extent, like the slow mode doesn't really work anymore. Um, it, it definitely helps like cut down on spam, but um, slow mode is, is like it's, it's for individuals. So it slows the individual, but it doesn't slow the whole chat. Does that make sense? Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm very used to the speed of the chat. So um, I don't, it, I'm, I'm capable of reading it. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> I've got some experience in the field. <laughs> um, Okay, let's see. I know it can be kind of intimidating when you first get here, though. Um, oh, I really like that. I think that's so cute. Um, let's see. I would love to have... I don't think the bread box comes in cute pink. So, stupid. I don't think this comes in cute pink either. Stupid. Um... Oh, so there's no way you can see this, but you read my comment earlier. There you go, Nikki, I read your comment again. <laughs> and that's the thing, also, just because I don't read your message out loud doesn't mean that I didn't see it. Um, it's harder to read everything out loud than it is to, like, skim it in my brain, you know? Um, so, <laughs> she perceives us. <laughs> um, Manda Tori? Is that even, is that actually Tori, or is that someone donating on behalf of Tori to make a toe joke? We'll never know. <laughs> um, Katsiana, thank you for the donation as well. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Let's see. What other cute stuff could we get? I would love to have this. That would be adorable. And maybe like a... I don't really want them to have that. Maybe I will have a little mug and a coffee maker though. No, I don't want a coffee maker. I don't like it. I can get a microwave, maybe? <gasps> Pink! Oh. Well, that's easy. Duh. And then we'll leave- We'll leave the rest of it open so that we have some empty counter space for us to cook on. Um. Amazing, the stray cat! I had to take the cat to the vet today, so in honor of that bill, I'm relaxing with your stream. Oh my goodness. Um, hopefully it wasn't too bad. Um, thank you, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, colors pink. You get so mad when Sims autonomously make coffee. I know! And I swear to you, they do it constantly. And then they just leave it in there for it to rot. They don't even finish eating it. I am not Sims' biggest fan for that one, I'm not gonna lie. Um, no, Sims are so weird about coffee. They they drink coffee literally constantly. Um, oh, this is annoying. 
I want to do this, but... We're having a slight problem in that, um... Well... Nothing is... Is, uh, gonna be even. This is the problem with these p these counters that have, like, different sized pieces. It's fun and all, but... The end pieces are a little bit skinnier than the regular pieces. So they don't all fit together perfectly. Please go to bed, don't auto drink coffee. Seriously? Oh my god, your sims are so irritating with that. Literally, why? It's 11 o'clock at night and they're like, I'm gonna drink coffee and then take a nap. Go to bed. Go to bed. And then you don't realize when you have like eight sims in your household and you think, oh, they're all asleep. And then you learn that one of them was napping and not actually sleeping. <sighs> go to bed. Go to bed. Like actually go to sleep. Why are you doing that? So annoying. <laughs> Auto napping is so annoying. They'll go lay in their bed and just nap. And it's the middle of the night. Does this look okay or does it look weird? I'm asking this question honestly. How do we feel? You like it? Okay. I like it too, I think. I feel like it's cute. Do you know what we need is a fire alarm. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> oh, you don't like the curtains? I liked how they kind of were tying in the yellow in the cabinets, but I don't know. Oh, Mia, thank you for that donation in honor of your dad. I'm so sorry. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, oh, that would be cool, Dika, if we have one of those, like, stove faucets. What are they called? Like, a pot filler or whatever? That would be kind of cool. Um, okay. I want to get... some... plants. Can I extend this out? No, probably not. I don't know. Ink with the $25 to St. Jude. Kayla with the $20. I'm so sorry, Kayla. Thank you for that donation also. I really appreciate that. Um, you would place the sprinklers in a fire alarm in a bathroom? Do you know what? That reminds me. I need one of these. <laughs> we absolutely need one of those. <laughs> we can't not have one. That's actually, uh, in fact, a necessity. <laughs> In this family, with the amount of fires that we have, yeah. No, that's gonna have to get placed. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. If we could just get, like, the main living space finished, I would feel great about today. I will say that I can't stay on too late today because, and this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I can't stay on too late because I'm streaming again in a couple hours. Um, we're gonna go live again, and we're gonna play Fall Guys with chat. So if you have Fall Guys, it's free to play, so anybody can play. Um, but if you wanna play with us, I'm gonna be live again at nine. Um, that's nine o'clock Eastern time. So kinda late at night, um, in two hours, and we're gonna play Fall Guys, cause I'm gonna try and practice for my tournament tomorrow. Um, so if you wanna help me practice, I would appreciate that. <laughs> uh, but that's the plan for tomorrow. I don't like this wallpaper, actually. In here, at least. I might do something a little bit, maybe, dustier. We can maybe get away with, like, a, a pattern, too. Maybe if there was, like... Um, is it from Cottage Living? Is that, like, pink pink, or is it... Oh. I don't know if that's too much or not. That might be cute in one of the rooms, but... It's kind of dark in here also. That helps. I don't know. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, 
The paranormal wallpaper. Oh. Wait, did you delete my stuff? Go back. It deleted this. That's such an annoying glitch when it deletes like the items that you've placed. The paranormal wallpaper though is kind of cute because it's like pink, but it's patterny. <gasps> we just passed two hundred and six thousand dollars raised for St. Jude. Thank you so much, you guys. That really means the world to me. Thank you. What the heck, um, Moosey Gal? You're going on vacation next week, so you're gonna miss a lot of the streams. We wanted to make sure you get your annual donation in on behalf of your pop pop who donated monthly to St. Jude until he passed. Thank you so much, Moosey, for saying that. And thank you for that donation in honor of him. I'm sure he would be so, so, so proud. Thank you so much. Oh, I feel like that looks weird with this because it's like the two patterns are very similar to each other. So I feel like it looks kind of odd when it's combined with, you know? Maybe it should just be plain pink but like a darker pink? That one's not very... I don't know. Whoa, pink. This one has the white paneling still, but it's just a different kind. So that might be okay. I don't know, we'll have to get some more, like, little decor bits and bobs. Um, okay. Um, should I scoot it forward a little bit? Maybe? Okay. Okay. It's coming together. Obviously it's not done, but it's coming together. Thank you for indulging me and allowing me to build this again today. <laughs> I know that we started a build like this and then I bulldozed it and now I'm doing it again and it's ridiculous and I'm sorry. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better about this version than I did before. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I know I'm being silly. We'll have to- we'll have to do a third stream of this. Um, which frankly is a little bit embarrassing, but it's okay. People are gonna be in that chat like, didn't you already build this twice? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah. That's correct. I did. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, okay, so as far as the stream schedule goes, we have a- I don't know if I like that. We have a couple kind of weird things going on this week. Um, so today, obviously I said I'm gonna be live again in like two hours. Um, but, um, we'll play some Fall Guys together again in like two hours. And then tomorrow, we're gonna play Fall Guys, but that's because I got invited to a Fall Guys tournament. But like, not just any Fall Guys tournament, it's a Fall Guys Twitch Rivals tournament. Um, and so it's like officially hosted by Twitch. <laughs> Do a ticket for wart? Oh my god, I should. Um, well, let me apply to Dan. Um, okay. Anyway, I actually, I promised you guys I was gonna do a, a one single villager hunt every day, so. <laughs> anyway, but tomorrow we're gonna play Fall Guys, um, in the Fall Guys tournament with Twitch Rivals. And I'm kind of nervous about it, because it's like a serious tournament. There's like a prize pool and everything. Um, but, um, I don't think we're gonna win. <laughs> so, um, I'm warning you now, don't get your hopes up too much. Um, but anyway, I promised I would do just one ticket. What time tonight? Tonight in two hours. Um, tomorrow at the regular time. Um, I don't know. Um, let me get my switch open so that we can do one single hunt. But yeah, I'll be here two hours from now, um, and we're gonna play Fall Guys together with chat so we can practice. And what I'm doing right now before I leave is, um, I promised chat that every day, because we never found Bort Jr. yesterday, I wanted to do one ticket per day. Um, 28th is right. I wanted to do one ticket villager hunting per day. Um, so you get to watch me find one Animal Crossing island, and then we're gonna find someone to raid. <laughs> Um, I made sure it's the right day. I was on here this morning, so don't worry. I fixed it already. Um, um, okay, uh, and then we'll see what happens. Like an advent calendar. Yeah, one Animal Crossing villager per day. Look at this. Island number 106. 
Imagine you find him. Yeah, seriously. It's gonna be like one island, then we'll find someone to raid. If you haven't seen us do this, um, we've been villager hunting for this Animal Crossing villager called Wart Jr. for months and months and months. We hunted yesterday, still didn't find him. We did raise $200,000 for St. Jude yesterday though, so like, it's fine. <laughs> Worst things have happened. Um, <laughs> it could have been worse. Um, but <laughs> but um, we didn't find him. So we're gonna do one one ticket a day uh, until I decide to give up. So. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. An advent calendar would have been fun. We do around Christmas. We always do an advent calendar. Um, and we've joked about doing one like in August for my birthday, just cause it's fun to have like a present every day. It would have been fun to do that for, for Play Live. Obviously like advent calendar, it wouldn't be like Christmas thing, but we could get like maybe Dan to make something with like some little prizes each day <laughs> just to see what happens. We could always do that next year. I would like that. Okay. One Island. You saved the lizard, so maybe it will bless you with amphibian, amphibian finding endeavors. Oh my god. Um, oh my god, with Animal Crossing amiibos? That would be a fun, um, that would be a fun advent calendar. Okay, I'm, I'm not kidding, I'm going to just one island, because I do have work I need to do tonight before I go live. Um, oh my god, you guys, my dad just sent me a screenshot. Um, St. Jude Play Live, like the whole event, for everyone that's been raising money this year. I noticed this this morning that it was getting close, but look at this. The Play Live fundraiser is almost at a million dollars. Obviously not just us, but like everybody who's fundraising for St. Jude right now is almost at a million dollars total. This is just like people on the internet. That's so cool, 996,000. Whoa, <laughs> um, that's pretty awesome. All right. Time for takeoff. Melva, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, text my dad back. Whoa, in all caps. <laughs> all right. How long is the stream today? Oh, not long. I'm leaving after this. I have to go eat dinner because I'm going to stream again in like two hours. So we shouldn't be on for too long. Um, I'm just going to do one island. One island. 106 islands for 206 a uh, thousand dollars raised for St. Jude. That is absolutely not a wart frog. That's Becky. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Goodbye. Should I do one more? Oh my god, I have a problem. I actually have a problem, I can't help it. Wasn't she on your card? Oh, I don't know. Let me open my bingo card, I'll find out. I actually can't stop, I have such a problem. <laughs> I won't do five, I'll just do one more, okay? One, one. We can't end on Becky. Becky's terrible, no offense. But we can't end on Becky. No, wrong button. Oh, it's because I was trying to look at my bingo card. Um, oh, I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting time. Okay. Becky's an icon. You're disrespectful. Okay, nothing's wrong with Becky. She's just not a wart frog. One more is what I say about crocheting rows on a blanket when I need to go to bed. One more is what I say about reading a chapter in my book when I need to go to bed, which is stupid. Because usually that's not like a quick like, oh, I'll just read one more chapter. Cut to like the longest chapter in the book. Yeah, just one more, just one more, it's fine. Just one more, <laughs> just a little bit more. <laughs> Bad. All right, this is the one. Wart's gonna be here. Just you wait. No, that's a horse. Okay. <sighs> Victoria. Well, we might not have horses in The Sims 4, but we got horses in Animal Crossing. <laughs> Captain Charlie from your two frogs! 
On behalf of Wart's absence. You've got two frogs. That's iconic. All right. Let's go find someone to raid. <laughs> Um, I will see you all in about two hours if any of you are still awake. I know some of you are um, living far away and in, in far off time zones and it's getting kind of late, but um, I'm gonna go find somebody to raid. Actually, I think, um, where shall we go? Um, do you know what? My friend Emrys is live graduating university today in The Sims. And how many of you are graduating in real life right now? Probably a lot. So <laughs> let's go celebrate with Emrys graduating in The Sims, shall we? Um, okay, well, I'll see you in a couple hours. We can play some Among Us together. I mean, Fall Guys, sorry, I don't know why I said that. I do play Among Us with Emrys and we will in a couple weeks, uh, but I'll see you in a little bit. We'll play some Fall Guys together. Um, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Uh, thank you for hanging out. I'll catch you later. Um, tomorrow we're gonna play the Fall Guys tournament and then on Saturday we're playing um, Sims Crowd Control. So, should be fun. Um, have a great rest of your evening. I hope to see you later. Thank you for building with me today and for putting up with my uh, sh chaos. <laughs> and I will see you all later, okay? Have a great night. Bye! Stop streaming.